Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. Chapter 51. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Now that one person failed, Garp transferred his unvented anger to Roger. Rayleigh. Hurry up. Garp is coming. What? Was that kid solved by Garp? Rayleigh was surprised, and the kid in his mouth was naturally Chin Luo. However, Rayleigh's observation hockey is far less powerful than Roger. Therefore, he is not clear about the situation. No. This kid has held Marine Admiral and has already flown into the sky. Flying. Is it similar to a lion fruit capable person? As Rayleigh said, his figure flickered quickly, kicking the tree, and moving quickly. No wonder Garp pointed the finger at me again. It would be too tricky to deal with the Garp and Naval Headquarters staff if it was only our Roger Pirates. Roger's face became gloomy. All this is not Chin Luo's fault. In terms of evacuation, Roger and Rayleigh first evacuated, trying to throw the trouble to Chin Luo. It's just that Chin Luo's evacuation speed is faster than Roger's, and he flew directly into the sky, making it impossible for people to chase. Captain, I will resist Garp for a while, and you will leave with other partners first, and I will chase you afterwards. Bullshit. Will I leave you here? Roger's beard trembled and yelled angrily. But if we don't stay alone to delay, it will be difficult for the two of us to escape. Rayleigh was extremely anxious, and there was no better way. Advertisement. I have a way. Roger's gaze brightened, and then observation hockey explored in all directions. After going out, he quickly covered the Chambordian Island's number one area. When he sensed Chin Luo, his face couldn't help but convulsions. I saw Chin Luo lying in the void, squinting comfortably, enjoying the gentle breeze. Looking at himself, fleeing so embarrassingly, Roger had all his desire to die. Friend, do me a favor. After hesitating for a while, Roger's voice rang in Chin Luo's ears, making Chin Luo sleepy sleepy. What's up? Opening his eyes, Chin Luo did not get up. He knew that this was Roger using observation hockey to communicate with him. So I didn't bother to get up, just floating in the air leisurely and drifting in the wind. After Roger felt it, his eyes were full of envy. Can you save our crew? Although I believe that our Roger pirates can break through the encirclement of naval headquarters, this will cause heavy casualties to our pirates. Friends, can you help? Roger said worriedly. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Ten devil fruits, I will shoot. Otherwise, solve it by yourself. No problem. When Roger heard the condition, he agreed without hesitation, even without hesitation. Okay. Where are you going? Chin Luo collects ten devil fruits and completes one thing easily. For him, he can't be more happy, and he can get ten devil fruits without much trouble. This is a good deal. New world. But the coating of our pirate ship has not been completed, and the entrance to new world we can only choose to dive 10,000 meters under the sea, pass through the huge hole located under the Red Continent, and reach New World through the Fishman Island. It takes more than 10 days to coat, and Marine hunts down. This road simply doesn't work, and the other one goes through the world government Mary Geoys, which is even more impossible. Roger said anxiously, as long as you can get out of the encirclement of Marine, where to go? Anything. Forget it, depending on your decisive answer just now, I will help you enter the New World. Chin Luo smiled lightly, and then sat in the void, and Hungarian had a path to success. How can it? What route? Roger was a little surprised. Without coding, he couldn't go through it 100%. Advertisement. And passing the Holy Land Mary Geoys is a dead end. What's more, it is impossible for Roger to abandon his golden jack. Cross over Mary Geoys. You mean, use the ability to fly. Roger was thoughtful, and in a moment he had a clear insight into Chin Luo's deep meaning. Well, this path is the most convenient and faster. If you don't take this path, would you like to take a detour to other places? Okay. After it's done, give you 12 devil fruits. Roger looked hopeful and raised the price more generously. Deal. Since Roger is full of sincerity, Chin Luo is not sloppy. An astonishing repulsive force suddenly erupted behind him, like a rocket, rushing towards Roger. Hope. Rayleigh. Breakthrough. With the arrival of strong support, Roger's morale greatly increased. A long sword smashed out, and a deadly circular sword gas erupted, directly sweeping the marine ahead into the sky, and directly opened a route. Roger. Don't be stubborn. You. Can't escape. Garp chased Roger with all his strength behind him, throwing an iron ball from time to time to interfere with Roger. Hey. Garp. How are you? At this moment, Chin Luo flew directly over Garp's body, showing a gentle smile owingly. Garp looked up. When he saw this kid, Garp was dumbfounded. You. Why are you back again? Oh. Isn't this Roger asking for help, so I will help him. Boy. How much benefit did he give you? Twelve devil fruit. How about it, do you want to bribe me too? Boy, Marine is righteous. Never compromise with evil forces. Hearing Chin Luo's teasing, Garp's entire face turned black and his nostrils sprayed with anger. 
Advertisement. Oh, run slowly by yourself. After Chin Luo finished speaking, he floated over a hundred meters above Garp's head. During the float, Chin Luo showed his swimming posture without hesitation, breaststroke and backstroke. Even the dog was sacrificed by Chin Luo. The posture should be more comfortable and more comfortable, and the expression should be more cozy and cozy. In short, three words. Shameless. Wow. 2.6. Sure enough, the effect of Chin Luo's actions was amazing. Garp was so angry that he couldn't wait to fly up to beat Chin Luo. Smelly boy. You wait for me. Okay. I'll wait, then, bye bye. Chin Luo laughed, and shot Roger and Rayleigh with his right hand. Repulsion. Parallel space. After speaking, the two masks covered Roger and Rayleigh's body. Form a transparent protective shield. Okay. Rayleigh ran, and suddenly felt his body light and flying lightly. Roger was surprised for a while, and then laughed. What a magical ability. Hey, Garp, let me tell you one last thing. I don't have any money, it's paralyzing to catch you. Chapter 52. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Rayleigh ran, and suddenly felt his body light and flying lightly. Roger was surprised for a while, and then laughed. What a magical ability. Hey, Garp, let me tell you one last thing. I don't have any money, it's paralyzing to catch you. I don't have money, I'm paralyzed by catching you. Garp's face was extremely distorted as he heard the harsh laugh. Today is definitely the most embarrassing moment in Garp's life history. Go. With Chin Luo's empty move, Roger and Rayleigh flew into the sky and met Chin Luo. Thank you, it would be tricky for us to escape without you. Roger showed a friendly smile, very bold. Thank you, here at New World, I invite you to drink. Rayleigh thanked him with a smile on his face. Fist bone meteorite. Garp, with a pale complexion, grabbed his right hand, and armament hockey covered it, his sturdy arm exploded with amazing power, and the cannonball in his hand shot directly towards Chin Luo. Boy, I won't let you run away like this ten. Awakened by this kid's angry eyes, Garp vented his anger roughly. Brush. The shells flew up, the air rubbed violently, and bursts of neighing erupted. Chin Luo watched this scene indifferently, but didn't make a move. Roger smashed it into pieces, smashing the rapidly coming cannonballs and exploding them on the spot. The gunpowder was filled with smoke, and the sound was everywhere, and a brilliant flower of flame bloomed in the air. Stand firmly, speed up. Advertisement. Chin Luo didn't bother to care about Garp, leaning out with his right hand, and the repulsion increased. The three of them were like three meteors, swiftly heading towards the 58th area of the Chambord Islands. The violent rubbing made the entire protective cover turn red, and a swell of heat swept through Roger and Rayleigh's body, but they didn't say a word. Below Area 1, watching Chin Luo and Roger and Rayleigh run away, Garp's blue veins jumped straight, and he shouted directly, all assembled to the 58th area, stop them Roger pirates. I don't believe it, Roger will abandon him. Crew. Yes. Upon hearing this, Marine hurried to the 58th area. At the same time, Garp took a phone worm and talked with Lieutenant General Crane. All the Marines were assembled in the 58th area, and the war was about to start. At the same time, the three of Chin Luo moved forward at full speed. In a short minute, they passed through most of the Chambordian Islands and came to the 58th area where the coating industry was developed. Captain, look, there are a lot of Marines gathered below. Rayleigh's eyes were sharp, and he saw a piece of white snow below, which was the clothes their Marine was wearing. Looking down, all the Marine warships were assembled not far from the number 58 area of the Chambord Islands. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Damn it, it's too late. Roger looked at the dense ant-like figures, his face gloomy. Chin Luo also saw the figure below, but he didn't care, it was just a group of marines. Whoosh. In an instant, the three reached the top of the Golden Jack ship in the 58th area. Little friend, let us go down. Seeing his crew resisting the naval headquarters lieutenants, Roger's eyes were red. It is good. Chin Luo didn't talk nonsense. When he was 50 meters above the ground, Chin Luo completely eliminated the repulsive force on the two of them. Roger and Rayleigh, who were under the gravity of the earth, smashed towards the ground with their big eyes. Crew, your captain is here. Give me a place to stay. Advertisement. Ring. Big hit. Boom. Roger split with anger, and a 180-degree circular sword aura suddenly radiated from the western sword. This sword aura, like a frightening dragon, gleamed with blue light, biting towards the marine on the ground. What? Falling from the sky. Damn it. Roger fell from the sky. Resist me. The marines who were desperately fighting against the Roger pirates, heard Roger's roar, and they were all bewildered. After seeing the earth-shaking ring-shaped sword energy enough to overwhelm a battleship, all the marines fled out desperately. Boom. Suddenly, the ring-shaped sword aura blasted on the earth, countless marines were lifted by the sword aura, and even some weak marines were stunned by the sword aura. Roger, 
Get all your crew aboard. Qin Luo stood in the void, looking down at everything like a master, and shouted at the earth. Hu, hu, hearing the sound abruptly, countless marines raised their heads together, and then saw Qin Luo floating in the void with cold eyes. What? Someone can float in the air. Could it be a lion fruit capable person? Golden Lion Shaki. Nonsense. Golden Lion Shaki. It doesn't look like this at all. Then who is he? Qin Luo. He is Qin Luo. Qin Luo who beat the dragon people. Advertisement. All marine looked at each other, dumbfounded. Boy, where is Sengoku Garp? Lieutenant General Crane remained calm and wise. As a chief advisor, being in danger is the most basic rule. Sengoku was caught by me, and Garp is almost mad at me. As for the dragon man, he has been knocked out by me and thrown into the little black room. What? Do you dare to catch Marine Admiral? Are you afraid of 253 death? Lieutenant General Crane glared at Shin Luo. What's terrible? Shin Luo smiled lightly. Even if I hold my head and let you chop, you won't be able to chop it. HMPH. Shoot. Lieutenant General Crane looked gloomy and released the order, and countless Marines raised their guns at Shin Luo. Faced with the shooting, Shin Luo ignored it, but signaled Roger to get on the boat quickly. Hearing Shin Luo's order, Roger didn't talk nonsense. He stepped forward and kicked the Marine Lieutenant General who was already on board, and shouted to the surroundings. Roger Pirate Group, all members, all get on board for me. Quote. Yes. Captain. Oh. The captain is here. Bring my morale up to me. Oh. Captain. It's finally here. Countless pirates were filled with excitement and tears. They were here waiting for Roger. Every minute and every second, they were even more worried. There were even pirates who wanted to find Roger, but they were completely surrounded and unable to break through. Get out. Roger's appearance gave the Roger pirates a shot in the heart. The whole body was full of enthusiasm. Captain. Order it. Even if you die, I have to pave a way for the captain. Roger pirates. Who are you afraid of? Countless pirates are impassioned, and their morale has been ignited to the peak. Even the marines faintly expressed fear. Chapter 53. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Lieutenant General Crane, tell you Marshal Marine, I will wait for him in New World. I only waited for five days, and within five days, I will tear up the ticket. Shin Luo looked at the smaller and smaller figure, and remembered the important things. According to Garp's urinary sex, it is unknown whether he will truthfully report Gangukong. In comparison, Lieutenant Crane is more reliable. Damn it. Shin Luo kid. Lieutenant General Crane's eyes were gloomy, very angry. Little devil. Dare to come down and have a fair fight. I will definitely let you experience the strength of your sister. Suddenly, a crisp female voice reached Shin Luo's ears. After looking at the sound, I saw a delicate girl next to Lieutenant General Crane. This person has a fair face, and her long fragrant hair is draped over her shoulders, and the breeze blows, revealing her amazing beauty. Peach Rabbit. Hey, kid, you are a cowardly rat. Dare to come down to a showdown. Boy, don't have the guts. Tautu screamed desperately, trying to excite Chin Luo, and was arrested by Marine. Yeah, brat, don't come down yet. Do you want to die? Cha Dolphin who is pursuing Peach Rabbit, also yelled frantically, wanting to be favored by Peach Rabbit. Advertisement. After the tea dolphin roared, a dense sarcasm and ridicule sounded again. With Chin Luo's good temper, I can't stand it. In the end, Chin Luo's anger was successfully aroused by their venomous sneers. Damn, ignore you and treat me like a bully. Universal pull. With a move in the void, Chin Luo's right hand was shot towards Taotu. Suddenly, Taotu's whole body shrank and flew into the sky uncontrollably. Unpreparedly, all Marines were stunned. Peach Rabbit. Lieutenant General Crane noticed the situation of Peach Rabbit for the first time. T. Dolphin was also stunned, but when he saw his beloved Miss Peach Rabbit flying up, he furiously displayed Moonwalk, trying to pull Peach Rabbit down. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Go away. Chin Luo saw that the T. Dolphin wanted to interfere with him, so he threw a punch. This illusory punch gradually solidified in the air, and finally formed a giant punch of 10 meters long and wide crushing it toward the T dolphin. FK, F asterisk K. The T dolphin's pupils shrank, and it was too late to defend. In the roar, the T dolphin was hammered on the body by a giant fist. Boom. The huge impact directly scattered the T dolphin and fell towards the ground. Advertisement. One more gift for you. Repulsion. Falling meteorite. Suddenly, above the sky, a huge stone with a radius of 200 meters appeared in the air. This huge boulder was so huge that it rushed towards the marine group as Chin Luo waved. This is a warning, don't offend me easily. Chin Luo laughed and flew towards New World without looking back. The huge boulder also fell in all marines shocked and crazy eyes, angrily. Boom. A huge roar resounded through the sky, countless marines wailed miserably, and the earth trembled. 
Qin Luo didn't take a second look at all of this, because there was a beauty standing beside him right in front of him. What did you call me just now? Qin Luo stared at the little girl in front of Taotu with interest. She had to say that Taotu has a mature maiden style, and the scattered curtains filled Taotu with a few words. Divide the posture of Murin. Huh. Damn it's kid. I will cut you out. Let go of me. Let go of me. Little girl Taotu. I can't let go of you. If I let go of you now, you will fall. Do you want to fall into mashed flesh? Taotu lowered her head in fear when she heard the words, her white neck and big legs kept shaking in front of Chin Luo, it was life-threatening. I don't care. Taotu raised her head stubbornly, with a decisive expression in her eyes. You don't let me go. I will die with you. Ha ha ha. Little girl, your threat is too weak. I arrested you, actually because of two things. Advertisement. Two things. What's the matter? Taotu stared at Chin Luo hesitantly and asked. First, you scolded me and didn't punish you, but you can't say it. Secondly, it's because I lack a conservatory girl. For your good aptitude, let's let you warm up first. What? Taotu looked at Chin Luo's evil smile and screamed in shock. Hey hey hey, look, here is the world government. Mary Geois. What? Mary Geois. Wow, we are above Mary Geois. Ha ha ha, I can finally see what world government looks like. Damn, here are all the Dragonites who hate labor and management. I want to pee them to death. FK, your uncle. You must leave a memorial. How can it not come in vain? Come here. Everyone pee together. Let these grandchildren taste the pee of our pirates too. Ha ha ha. See who is peeing far. Chapter 54. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Damn. Here are all the Dragonites who hate labor and management. I want to pee them to death. Come here. Everyone pee together. Let these grandchildren taste the pee of our pirates too. Return to the nobles of the world. Go and be the nobles who drink urine. Ha ha ha. See who is peeing far. Chin Luo, who was teasing Taotu, heard the foul language from the pirates of the Roger Pirates group, and suddenly slammed. Are these buddies playing too hard and peeing at Mary Geois, a holy place in the world government? This is going to be spread out, but still not shocking the world. Mary Geois is the seat of the highest power in the world. Five elders, the world's highest power, and the world's noble Tianlong people live here. If you dare to pee on the head of the highest authority, you really don't want to survive. On the Red Earth continent where Geosong enters the clouds, a city with beautiful scenery, tall buildings, and simple atmosphere is exposed. When you look down, Mary Geois is like a baby, surrounded by the sea and mountains. At this moment, the crew of the Roger Pirate Group had no time to watch the beautiful scenery, but began to act with a wicked smile. Rogue, listening to the foul language and smirk of the pirates, Taotu hurriedly lowered her head, her beautiful face was flushed and shy. Even Dao Tu has never looked at them, just because of that explicit remark, 933 makes Dao Tu shy and blushing constantly. Compared with the Tao Tu ten years later, she is now a little green, but even so, the maiden style has gradually been revealed to her. This posture of being ashamed to be let go, it is clear that he hasn't slapped others. Ahem. Who is the rogue? I didn't urinate anywhere. You, and all your stinky men. They are all rascals. Since you said I am a gangster, I will show you the gangster once. Chin Luo whistled, and slowly touched his pants with both hands. Ah, what are you doing? Smelly hooligan. Advertisement. P. Don't hold back all the time, it will be bad. You go away. Rogue. Shameless. Say wolf. Chin Luo has to take off his pants in front of her. FCK, how can Taotu bear such shameless behavior? Moreover, Chin Luo is planning to take it off to her. The frustrated Taotu closed her eyes and screamed, thinking what happened to her. Okay. Okay. I can't help but tease. Chin Luo watched Taotu crying, and hurriedly stopped. At this time, Chin Luo left Taotu aside and looked at Roger's pirate ship. I saw densely packed pirates standing on both sides of the ship's gunwale. They opened their pants drastically and unobstructed, and shot into the sky. Ha ha ha. Happy. Tianlong dogs. You guys have a taste of my pee. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Fatty. You are so big, how come the guy who eats is so small? FK off. Boy, believe it or not that labor and management have castrated your stuff and feed the dog. Ha ha ha. Comfortable. Dare to stand on top of the holy land Mary Geois and pee, I'm afraid we Roger pirates will dare to do it. Captain. As a captain, you have to take the lead. Come here and have a dip. Rayleigh. Come and come. Make gestures. I've long wanted to compete with you for the position of deputy captain, so let's decide whether we win or lose based on length, how about? Captain. Congratulations, your bounty is going to rise again. This time our credit is indispensable. We must have a good meal. Buggy, your things are too small. Shanks smirked from the side, and took out the scissors nonchalantly, and cut it directly for the clown buggy with a click. FK, 
F asterisk K. Buggy the clown squirted water happily, suddenly feeling uncomfortable under him, and immediately opened his eyes, only to find that the red hair was extremely flat and holding scissors dangling in front of him. Advertisement. Ah, what did you do? Buggy the clown roared. His eyes are full of rage. Anyway, you have eaten chop chop fruit. What's the impact? It's not bad to cut it and replace it with a larger one. No, this is the horse I just cut. You can replace it. Fragrant. K. C. I'm going to kill you. Buggy the clown gritted his teeth, his face extremely pale. When everyone saw it, they burst into laughter. These two boys are life treasures. Roger and Rayleigh glanced at each other, and they leaned forward and back together with a smile. Rayleigh, aren't you just about to open the gate to release the water? Below is the holy land Mary Geoys, don't you regret not peeing once? Ha ha, captain. Blessed and shared. Difficult to share. Anyway, the captain should go first. You slippery. Roger pointed to Rayleigh, laughing. The pirates are joking, the liquid body is flowing down quickly, one person, two people, three people. In the end, it was dense and overwhelming, as if it were raining. The Roger pirates are cool, and the haughty Tianlong people below are miserable. Inside Mary Geoys, there are many high-rise buildings and mansions all over this place. This is the place where the world's noble Tianlong people live. Many Tianlong people are going out. Hurry up. Trash. The labor and capital have made an appointment with the god Vero. It took the time of the sage. It will kill you. Mom. I played this slave to death. I'm going to get another one. Why this mermaid can't help tossing so much, it's only half a day, it's about to die. Advertisement. In the holy land, many Tianlong people were sitting on their own affairs, but suddenly, countless drops of water were splashed on the sky. Damn it. It's raining. Hey. No. It's a clear sky now. Where does the rain come from? A Tianlong man took a few drops of water with his palm, added a mouth, and asked between his nose. The face twisted. Damn. This is urine. What goddamn pissing. This saint killed him. FK. It smells. Damn urine. Ah, asshole. My new clothes. Damn. Dirty rubbish. Look. There is a ship flying in the sky. Asshole. They must have done it. Whose ship is that? I'm going to unload him. At this moment, the holy land Mary Geoys has become a mess. This kind of riot is no less than the death of a Draco. Even those with the highest authority in the government were alarmed. And the instigator of all this was timidly timidly tidying up. What a relief. Damn. Make them arrogant. Hey. They tasted our urine, then we are more noble than them. Ha ha ha. This time is really f king fun. It's all because of that little brother. Without a little brother, where would we go to find such a good opportunity to pee? Yes, yes, it's all thanks to my brother. My brother. Join us as the pirates. Roger pirates is very strong. I will definitely become the world's number. One pirates in the future. Our captain. Two. Become one piece. Sorry, I am not interested in any pirate group, I am used to being free. Chin Luo smiled and refused. What's the joke? How could Chin Luo do such a restrictive thing to join the pirates? Chapter 55. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Yes, yes, it's all thanks to my brother. My brother. Join us as the pirates. Roger pirates is very strong. I will definitely become the world's number. One pirates in the future. Our captain. Two. Become one piece. Sorry, I am not interested in any pirate group, I am used to being free. Chin Luo smiled and refused. What's the joke? How could Chin Luo do such a restrictive thing to join the pirates? He wanted the freedom, soaring in the sky, and stepping on the top of this world with his own strength. Thank you. Roger walked to Chin Luo's side with a flat face to thank him. No thanks. One yard goes to one yard. I save you just for the transaction. Chin Luo didn't explain much to Roger, and he didn't bother to explain. Anyway, it's definitely not the kind of brave nature. If Roger didn't allow him 12 devil fruits, the ghost would take care of it. To Chin Luo's frankness, on the contrary, Roger's spirit slackened. Roger put down his guard and stood with Chin Luo, what abilities are you using? Similar to lion fruit. Rayleigh also wanted to ask about this question. Such a bug-like ability might be enough to make naval headquarters tremble. With this ability, you can command the pirate group at will, and go wherever you want. The sea is impassable, and it can still fly in the sky, this kind of magical ability is even a bit greedy for Roger. The golden lion Shaki, one of the three great pirates, relied on his lion fruit ability to form a flying pirate group. His movements were erratic and it was difficult to catch his trace. Compared with Roger pirates and whitebeard pirates, golden lion pirates has inherent advantages. Roger really wanted to learn about Chin Luo's ability, so he took the liberty to ask. Advertisement. Repulsion. Chin Luo didn't bother to hide it, and said. 
Repulsion. Roger was a little surprised, there is still this kind of ability fruit. Well, I am a person with the ability to eat the fruits of repulsion. No matter what it is, as long as I want to control it, they can allow me to artificially cancel out the huge gravitational force from the earth. Therefore, the repulsion and the gravitational force cancel out, and you can take off naturally. Up. So amazing. Roger exclaimed, this kind of fruit is even more powerful than Golden Lion Shiki's lion fruit ability. Repulsion. As long as Chin Luo is upset, he can shoot the weapon out at will, it is a must-have artifact for murder. It's only this kind of ability, you know, although I have unmatched power, I have paid a huge price. What's the price? You can't swim. I heard that the Fish Men Island has a lot of beautiful mermaids. You can't go down to the sea alone to take a look. It always feels empty. Chin Luo pretended to be emotional. Say Wolf. Tao Tu stared at her beautiful eyes, showing an extremely unhappy posture. I didn't say you, just you talk a lot of nonsense. Chin Luo directly pushed back. You. Tao Tu was speechless, gritted his teeth with anger. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Roger laughed loudly when he heard the words. Captain, new world is here. Rayleigh approached Roger and reminded. Immediately, Roger looked forward, and the endless sea was rough and large and small islands emerged. At the same time, sea kings also leapt out, stirring up huge sea water. This is the unpredictable new world, and this is the place where pirates and strong men come and go. Here is the stage for the strong to contend for hegemony. Ha ha ha. New world is here. Advertisement. Oh oh oh. Labor and management are back. Whitebeard. Wash your head and wait for us to kill. Roger pirates. Countless pirates raised their arms and cheered. Not long ago, they were facing a huge crisis. They did not expect to be turned around in just a few hours. Sir, I have a ruthless please. When all the members arrived at New World and cheered, Rayleigh walked up with a sword. What's the matter? Chin Luo asked curiously at the deputy head of the Roger Pirate Group. Sir, can you make two moves? Okay, no problem. Chin Luo thought there was a big deal, because he wanted to fight him. Then I am coming. He agreed, Rayleigh was not hypocritical, and he drew out the long sword in his hand, armament hockey covered it, and slammed it down at Chin Luo. Boom. The entire pirate ship was shaking violently. Repulsion. Cone of God. Chin Luo raised his hand, and a cone-shaped illusory shadow emerged. Then, it rose up against the wind and directly collided with Rayleigh's long sword. The fierce collision was fleeting, and Rayleigh quickly retreated, standing still smiling bitterly. Who? Who is better? Deputy Captain Rayleigh is very strong, I guess Rayleigh won. Not necessarily. Rayleigh is facing a person who is capable of repulsive fruit. Neither of them was injured, it should have been a tie. Advertisement. Hearing the words of the members of the Roger Pirate group around him, Roger smiled, it was Chin Luo who won. Why, Captain, I think the two of them are on the same level. Dot dot dot. Yes, the members of the Roger Pirate group were puzzled and surprised. It was indeed the husband who won. I am not as skilled as others, but I lost. Rayleigh's clean and crisp surrender made the other members curious and kept asking Roger. In the end, Roger reluctantly said, with one blow, Rayleigh's hand kept trembling, but Chin Luo was unscathed, so Chin Luo won. Hearing Roger's explanation, the members nodded seriously, surprised at Chin Luo's strength. Roger, where are you going? Just stop on that island. I will rely on Roger to complete the rest of the road. Roger didn't want to trouble Chin Luo, so he pointed to an island at will. Now that Roger spoke like this, Chin Luo didn't say much, and the ship directly controlling the Roger pirate group stopped on the side of the island Roger pointed to. These are twelve devil fruits, count them. Arrived safely, Roger also generously ordered the two pirates to take out the devil fruit hidden in the snow. Okay. Chin Luo glanced casually, and after seeing twelve devil fruits of various shapes, he nodded, using repulsive force to control the box. Then Roger, we are destined to meet again, and if you are in trouble and you still have enough devil fruit, you can just come to me. Chin Luo said a few polite remarks, and then took the peach rabbit and the whole box of devil fruit and left the ship and flew towards other islands. Chapter 56. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Then Roger, we are destined to meet again, and if you are in trouble and you still have enough devil fruit, you can just come to me. Chin Luo said a few polite remarks, and then took the peach rabbit and the whole box of devil fruit and left the ship and flew towards other islands. After Chin Luo left, Rayleigh stood beside Roger and said, Captain, he is very capable. I know. Roger nodded, noncommittal. Wow. At this moment, Rayleigh suddenly spouted a mouthful of blood, his entire face paled instantly, and his center of gravity became unstable and he collapsed directly to the ground. The sudden scene surprised the pirate members around. Hey, Rayleigh, what's wrong with you? Ship doctor. Show Rayleigh, what's wrong with him? Spit up blood. Where did you get hurt? For a while, 
Many pirates pounced and surrounded Rayleigh in surprise, their eyes full of concern and worry. Even Roger was taken aback when he saw Rayleigh fell to the ground, guessing whether he was injured in the Chambord Islands. Rayleigh, how did you do it? Roger held Rayleigh anxiously, looking shocked. He has been with Rayleigh. If Rayleigh is injured, he will be aware of it for the first time. During this period, no one will hurt Rayleigh. Even Rayleigh and Chin Luo's test just now, he is also present, Chin Luo is impossible. Playing tricks under his nose. With everything ruled out, Roger was surprised and shocked by Rayleigh's inexplicable injury. Captain, it's Chin Luo. Rayleigh held his belly, and the long sword in his hand snapped in half at this moment. When did he release the hand? Roger was stunned, he was always by his side, but he didn't notice it. Advertisement. Just when we hit, it seemed that I had resisted his repulsive force, the cone of God, in fact, in the cone of God, there was also a layer of more secret and domineering repulsion. And this repulsion, lay when Lee talked about this, suddenly, there was a heartache in Hungarian's heart. Roger lifted his clothes and found that a purple fist mark appeared dazzlingly on his hunch. What an amazing destructive power. Roger glanced at him, his horror directly. Ship doctor. Give Rayleigh treatment quickly. Roger ignored the shock of the rest of the pirates on the boat, and hurriedly picked up Rayleigh and carried it into the cabin. Okay. I'll save him right away. Karokas put down the medical box and followed Roger in. After Roger had left, all the pirates couldn't help but gasp, cold sweat from behind. As this Chin Luo so powerful? With one blow, can our deputy captain be so seriously injured? What's more terrifying is that our captain didn't even notice the slightest. This is the most terrifying thing. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Could it be that Chin Luo's strength is still higher than that of our captain? I'm afraid it is so. On the Sea of New World, there is going to be a violent rainstorm. Everyone couldn't help but amazed, looking in the direction where Chin Luo had left. The members of the Roger Pirate group couldn't calm down for a long time. Hey hey hey. Big say wolf. Smelly perverted. Dead ghost. Where do you want to take me? At sea, Tautu cursed loudly, resisted hard, trying to escape Chin Luo's clutches, but no matter how hard she struggled, it was of no avail. Chin Luo never relaxed while holding her arm. Sister, didn't brother tell you? I want you to be my greenhouse girl. Go away, big gangster. Tautu squirmed frantically, but this fanatic resistance was not worth mentioning to Chin Luo. You wait here first. Advertisement. Chin Luo threw Tautu on the isolated island and attracted her with gravity. Tautu seemed to be stuck in a quagmire and couldn't even lift her feet. You, what are you going to do? Don't leave me, hey. There was not even a bird on this deserted island, and it was extremely barren. Throwing peach rabbit here was simply killing her. Huh, didn't you want me to go? Why did you feel reluctant to let me go after I left for a while? Chin Luo stared at the peach rabbit with a smile but a little bit of teasing in his eyes. Bah, hooligan. Ghosts can't bear you, ha ha ha. Dao too pretty blushed, her mouth was suffocating, and Huns all followed their breathing, letting Chin Luo feast his eyes. System. In. Exchange these twelve devil fruits for me into points. Please wait, host. Didi, the mysterious power has been detected and is being exchanged. Exchange. Preliminary statistics are being made on the types of devil fruit. Seven zone devil fruit. Total redemption. 4,900 points. Four paramesha devil fruit. Total redemption. 3,600 points. Alodia devil fruit. Total redemption. 1,600 points. Twelve devil fruits. Total redemption. 10,100 points. FK. Advertisement. Although Chin Luo has estimated how many points can be exchanged for 12 devil fruits, when the actual value came out, Chin Luo was surprised. FCK. So many points. Several elements are enough for him to reach his full level. Dominate the world in minutes. D. If a certain non-element is detected, is it up to the full level? Wait. What are you improving this time? Amount. The system hesitated for a while, it seemed that O2O was thinking. Let's be regarded as the overlord of the sea for the time being. Overlord of the sea. Chin Luo couldn't help but wonder. What is the hegemon of the sea? Is there an egg to improve this thing? In this way, the king of the sea is similar to the nature of the sea king. On the sea, the host is omnipotent, and it is not even better than the sea king Poseidon. Hearing the explanation of the system, Chin Luo became interested again. Go on. Overlord of the sea. When you reach the full level, you are invincible at sea. Not only can you control the sea, you can even control the weather on the sea and dispatch the sea kings. You are the lord of the sea. You are the dragon calling the wind and calling the rain. That's it. Also, host has become the overlord of the sea and has absolute control over the water. You can also transform into an illusory body and blend into the water. As long as there is water, you can reach it instantly. For example, you are now in New World. 
but if you blend into the water, you can reach any place in the world where there is water. F.K. When Qin Luo heard the words, his eyes widened, the overlord of the sea was already awesome enough. Unexpectedly, the additional skill is heaven-defying. The last question, when Sea King Poseidon appears, who is the rule? Who Sea Kings listen to? You. Listen to you. Chapter 57. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When Qin Luo heard the words, his eyes widened, the overlord of the sea was already awesome enough. Unexpectedly, the additional skill is heaven-defying. The last question, when Sea King Poseidon appears, who is in charge? Who Sea Kings listen to? You. Listen to you. So, Poseidon, the Sea King, has lost its effect, right? Not at all. As long as they are not summoned at the same time, there will be no conflict. If the host is summoning and the Sea King is also calling, then Sea Kings will listen to the host, and even the host can even call the Sea King. F.K. It. Such a dick. Chin Luo was stunned. This system is too powerful. Aptune is the future White Star and the White Star is a mermaid clan, then does it mean that both murlocs and merfolk will listen to my orders? Host, only White Star can, and the other members of the Fishman Island will not listen to you. Oh, Chin Luo listened to the system's narration and felt a little lost, but this loss was only a momentary effort, and then he was resurrected full of blood. Forget it, since the mermaid chicks don't listen to me, this is another kind of increase in difficulty, but this is more interesting. Quote dot 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 quote. Host 347, do you want to exchange it? Exchange, why don't you save money if you don't exchange it? Chin Luo waved his hand directly, very generous, no way, Roger is simply a gifting boy, 12 devil fruits, this is enough for Chin Luo to exchange for several times. Ding, the exchange is in progress, the exchange is successful. Consumption of 3600 points. Overlord of the sea is at full level. Host can control the ocean at any time, call the wind and call the rain. Dispatch troops and generals. Pretty. Chin Luo snapped his fingers, and the whole person became excited, completely ignoring the number of consumption points. Didi, it has been detected that a certain element can be upgraded to the full level, is it improved? What is it this time? Full body level, advertisement. Full body level, hearing that, Chin Luo raised his head and thought about it. In fact, it doesn't matter if this physical body is at full level or not. Anyway, he is repulsive. As long as Chin Luo is willing, no one can get close. What can this flesh body do at full level? Chin Luo thought for a moment, then asked. Ding, the body is at full level. First, it can withstand any attack, no matter how powerful the enemy is, no matter how many sword you cut the host, you will not feel the slightest pain, even if you go up the sword mountain, get off the pan, and jump from the sky island. Come down and fall to the ground, you won't feel any pain. Is this pain numbing nerves? No, your physical defenses are already outrageous. These attacks only give you a slight and almost negligible feeling. FK it. No, then I won't be happy to do the peach rabbit in the future. Chin Luo immediately came up with this idea evilly. Uh, this won't affect the pleasure of host. That's okay. Chin Luo relaxed a little, and then asked again. Apart from this ability, there is nothing else. Yes, after the physical body reaches the level, you can still control the pain. Manipulate pain. How to manipulate pain? Chin Luo is blinded. This system is so good at playing. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Simply put. As long as the enemy slashes on you, you can completely transfer the damage of this sword to other people. The attribute is a bit similar to that of fighting a cow, but it far surpasses that of fighting a cow. It completely rebounds. Whoever wants to fight depends on host's wishes. Awesome. Chin Luo slapped his tongue. It turns out that the physical body can still operate like this at full level. It's almost 6666. Anything else? Have. The conscience of heaven and earth, Chin Luo absolutely said casually. These two things alone are enough to make Chin Luo invincible, so he does not think that there are other operations at the level of the physical body. Host can also completely change the body. For example, if you want to become bigger, you can become bigger, and if you want to become smaller, you can become smaller, which is outrageous. Advertisement. Puff. Hearing this, Chin Luo almost spit out a mouthful of old blood. FCK. According to this, can he put this ability on his? The bigger and longer the time is, the more happy the girls. Wow ha ha. Artifact. Artifact. Although Chin Luo feels that he is not small, he can control the length and size at will, it's just him. Damn it's fun. Anything else? Have. What else? At this moment, Chin Luo completely looked like he had seen a ghost, his mother, this physical body is too heaven-defying at full level. The body is invincible, the shadow that appears from your body. It is also invincible. It is good. Chin Luo is overjoyed. It can be said that the physical body is at full level, and all the secondary attributes on his body have been promoted to the peak. 
All in all, there are four heaven-defying secondary attributes at the physical body full level. First, ignore any attacks completely. Not immune to pain, but because the protagonist's body is too strong, the enemy's damage is too weak, and there is no power. Second, the enemy's attack can be completely transferred to other people. The damage is completely transferred. Third, change the body size at will. Fourth, shadow is invincible. It can only be said that the physical body at full level is really too tyrannical. Advertisement. I thought it was useless to be at full level, who knew I was short-sighted. Does the host raise the physical body to full level? Promote. Ding. Successful promotion. Full body level. Unlock the four major assistant attributes. Consumption of 7000 points. Remaining points. Zero points. FK. What the hell? Suddenly, Chin Luo, who was having a good time, widened his eyes. He was dumbfounded when he looked at the mysterious numbers on the system interface. Hey, system. Did you secretly deduct labor points when you came out? For Chin Luo, this point is simply life. The root, he only increased two full levels, which cost him 10,600 points. When the system was upgraded, Chin Luo fell asleep. Chin Luo took advantage of this opportunity to blackmail a system and extorted 500 points. Although not many, this is also a point. After redeeming all the devil fruits, he gained again. 10,100 points, a total of 10,600 points. In the blink of an eye, his consumption was gone. Chin Luo really can't believe this result. System. You come out for lousy. Host. Say. Did you deduct my points? No. Then last time I increased my repulsion, I only used 1,800 points. This time I only increased it twice. Why did it cost me 10,600 points? Chin Luo is like an ant in the vegetable market, arguing fiercely with the system. Every time the host is upgraded to the full level, the points will almost double. For example, the first time you use 1800 points, the next time you redeem, the points will be around 3600 points, and the next time, it will be around 7200 points. Is it such a pit? Chin Luo stayed in place, and it took a long time for such a word to pop out. Chapter 58. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Every time the host reaches a full level, the points will increase almost exponentially. For example, the first time you use 1800 points, the next time you redeem, the points will be around 3600 points, and the next time, it will be around 7200 points. Quote. Is it such a pit? Chin Luo stayed in place, and it took a long time for such a word to pop out. Quote dot 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 quote. Forget it, let's pit it, but things that can be upgraded to the full level are very good. Chin Luo is very excited now, even if he has used up all his points, he can't stop his fascination with the two full levels. The first person to bear the brunt is the physical full level. If you come up with a small item alone, Chin Luo is most interested in ignoring any attacks in the physical body full level. How do you experiment with physical invincibility? Chin Luo looked up at the sky, touched his chin and began to think. Five elders fight. Five elders is well deserved and the most powerful person in the world government. But let Chin Luo face five old men, which makes it difficult for him to accept. Everyone looks crooked, and it affects his appetite. Go to the naval headquarters. Forget it, besides Gangukong and Garp, who else is there? Go to New World to find Whitebeard or Big Mom. Forget it, seeing the face of Big Mom. I'm even more nauseous. Chin Luo shook his head to himself, without a clue. Look for Whitebeard to single. Forget it, I'm afraid Whitebeard will be exhausted. After thinking about it, Chin Luo couldn't think of a good way. At this moment, suddenly, his eyes lit up and he thought of a great way. Thinking about it, Chin Luo flew directly to Taotu. Hey, say wolf. Where have you been? Taotu opened her eyes in shame, and yelled at Chin Luo. Hey, hey, did I provoke you? Call me a wolf when you meet. Chin Luo is speechless, can't I change my name? How about the wolf all day long? Who can stand it? Bah, say wolf. Want me to change my mouth? Unless you let me go. Then you should call it. Chin Luo didn't bother to argue with this little girl. Just as Taotu was defying her anger, Chin Luo directly attached the repulsive force to Taotu's body, and Taotu's body was like riding a rocket, jumping up crazy. What? Advertisement. Not surprisingly, Taotu's entire pretty face was frightened and screamed pale. Hey hey hey, stop screaming, there is no dead person, what is the ghost name? Chin Luo appeared beside Taotu, and the two were flying up crazy, quickly passing through the clouds. What are you doing? There is a thundercloud ahead. It will kill people. Split someone to death. Chin Luo laughed loudly when he heard the words. At this moment, a roar of thunder struck Chin Luo directly. Crack. A bolt of lightning that was 10 meters wide hit Chin Luo's body. What? The sudden lightning stunned Taotu, her eyes widened in horror and her face was desperate. 
What's it called? Being struck by lightning, Chin Luo shook his body. Except for a mess of his fortune, his whole body was intact. I have to say that this flesh body is powerful at full level. This thunder was also brought by Chin Luo using the power of the overlord of the sea at his full level. Under Chin Luo's perfect control, the lightning only hit Chin Luo. Otherwise, with such a dense thunder and lightning, now Taotu can't tell how many times it will die. You, are you okay if you were struck by lightning? Taotu stared at Chin Luo who was standing in front of him, his entire brain capacity was not enough. Did you see something wrong with me? Chin Luo laughed blankly. Now Taotu was directly frightened. She opened her small mouth and stared at her beautiful eyes, as if petrified. Chin Luo couldn't help but laugh at this scene. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Are you still human? Would you like to try? I have the organs that a man should have. I promise you will be cool. Bah, hooligan. The unexpected teasing made Taotu blush again. Okay, hurry up. Let my brother take you to the sky. Chin Luo laughed, his speed surged, and instantly appeared hundreds of miles away, almost the same as the speed of light. Where are you taking me? After passing through one layer of thunder layer, those thunderous but weird did not split the two of them, Taotu was greatly surprised, under this extreme excitement, shock, and a series of extraordinary abilities, Taotu finally became numb. Soon, the two stood on the sky island, 10,000 meters above the ground. Standing in the clouds and overlooking the world, it's a different kind of taste. Wow, so beautiful. Sure enough, the girl's ability to resist the scenery is very weak. Looking at the clouds soaring in the sky, the peach rabbit is directly intoxicated by such a wonderful sight. Hey, don't be nympho. Advertisement. Chin Luo interrupted peach rabbit at an untimely time. What are you doing? Taotu glared at Chin Luo, wishing to take Chin Luo off. Be prepared, brother will show you the pleasure of bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. What is that? Taotu heard this word for the first time, and her beautiful eyes were full of curiosity. A project that extremely stimulates the soul. You deserve it, Chin Luo said with a smile. Extremely exciting. Taotu stared at Chin Luo suspiciously, feeling that this kid must have no good intentions. Really, when Taotu was suspicious, she only felt a kick at her feet. The whole person is falling towards the earth. Gravity. Ten levels. At this moment, Chin Luo increased the gravity even more shamelessly, making the speed of the two even more amazing. Ah, Taotu screamed again and again, her hair was blown away. The wind howls. The air mocha sounds endless. Taotu screamed in fright, hugging Chin Luo tightly, and desperately squeezing into Chin Luo's arms. FK. So it's so easy to want a hug. Chin Luo really regretted it again and again. He knew that this way could get the hug of Taotu love. He would definitely take Taotu to play this kind of stab at the first time. Game. Please, please slow down. I can't stand it anymore. Taotu shrank into Chin Luo's arms, crying pear blossom with rain, her pretty face turned pale in fright, she was really surprised by this scene. Just ask me, there is no practical action. How can I say that I am also a life-saving grace to you, so how can I show it, such as a kiss on me? Rogue, I don't want it. Taotu fought back in fear. Oh, then you fall to death. Do not, dear or not. Is there any other way? No. Only the power of love can save you. I beg you. Stop talking. Okay. Can't I kiss me? Taotu looked at the land that was getting closer and closer, and the whole person was frightened. The ghost and the gods pointed to Chin Luo's side face. Hey. Advertisement. Ha ha ha. Excitement. Gravity. Twenty times. Chin Luo was refreshed from head to toe, and even her toes trembled. She trembled, holding the peach rabbit and flew down faster. The ground is getting closer and closer, and the speed has skyrocketed to an unparalleled violent level. The flesh body is at full level, fight cows across the mountain. Chin Luo roared directly and put Taotu on himself, while Chin Luo was lying in the sky, looking at Taotu. In this way, Taotu had everything on her body. The impact force of Chin Luo will be absorbed by Chin Luo to increase the force of hitting the ground. Repulsion, Absolute Realm. At a distance of 3,000 meters from the ground, Chin Luo attached the repulsive force to Taotu, and her whole body began to slowly descend, while Chin Luo carried an extremely violent impact force and screamed towards the ground. Look, there are meteors in the sky. FK. That's your mother's meteor. That's a human. What? People. Then you can't fall into powder. Boom. Suddenly, the earth roared. A powerful impact directly caused the entire island to tremble crazily, no less than a magnitude 7 or 8 earthquake. Everyone on this island is shaking violently, and some have even fainted by the huge roar. The shock wave spread out, startled the heaven-defying dust. In the middle of the island, a pit of 300 meters long and 500 meters deep appeared. Chin Luo, on the other hand, sat on the ground with a dazed expression. Does it hurt? Doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. However, 
he seemed to hear a miserable howl when he fell to the ground just now. Huh, where did the sound come from? Shin Luo frowned and looked around. Suddenly, he felt the earth moving. Shin Luo lowered his head in surprise, and suddenly found that he was sitting on a person's head. This person has a huge body, one head can support three Shin Luo. When Shin Luo saw this person's face clearly, he rolled his eyes full of black lines, speechless to the extreme. FK. Why is this? Recommend new books to friends. Poisonous fruit of special forces. Closing square bracket dot. Chapter 59. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Huh. Where did the sound come from? Shin Luo frowned and looked around. Suddenly, he seemed to feel the earth moving. Shin Luo lowered his head in surprise and found that he was sitting on a person's head. This person has a huge body, one head can support three Chin Luo. When Chin Luo saw this person's face clearly, he rolled his eyes full of black lines, speechless to the extreme. FK. Why is this? Jumping from an altitude of 10,000 meters on the Sky Island is definitely an incomparably breathtaking operation, even more fierce than Kaido, the beast known as the world's strongest creature. Chin Luo not only exerted 20 times the gravitational force, but also transferred all the inertial force of Taudu to himself, that is to say, Chin Luo alone withstood the gravitational force 20 times of the two. Coupled with the impact of the fall, this force must never be underestimated. This time, Chin Luo's work is comparable to the beasts and Kaido is not even a bit better. Chin Luo rolled his eyelids helplessly, and looked at the figure lying on the ground from time to time. Who is this guy? This stuff turned out to be Kaido, the beast known as the world's strongest creature. That is extremely weird, likes to die, there is no solution in the pirate world. Kaido was sentenced to 40 death sentences in 017 and survived intact. He made trouble at naval headquarters several times. Although he was caught, he was still safe. Even this guy used suicide as a pleasure all day long, and was caught by Marine several times in the form of single dumping, but in the end Marine had nothing to do with this guy. Shin Luo jumped from a 10,000 meter high sky island and stunned Kaido, the beast. With this unexpected operation, Shin Luo was also at a loss. Hey, say wolf, are you here? Under the operation of the repulsion space, Taudu slowly landed on the ground, and immediately rushed to the pit. At the same time, Taudu is still struggling. Advertisement. She cursed Shin Luo being thrown to death, and on the other side, she didn't want Shin Luo to be thrown to death. If Shin Luo falls to death, she will be trapped in such a ghostly place. Taotu knows how dangerous this world is. Therefore, when I was expecting Shin Luo to fall into the flesh, I desperately wanted Shin Luo to be safe and sound. This is the first time that this contradictory and complicated mood has occurred. Damn it, say wolf. You should have been thrown to death. It's better to be smashed. Peach Rabbit cursed bitterly as she wanted to find out. Did you die, say wolf. Standing on the edge of the pit, Taotu shouted at the bottom, the echo was clear and lasting for a long time. You are a say wolf your family are say wolves. When Taudu heard the words, his mind was full of black lines. At the same time, the whole person was speechless to Chin Luo to the extreme. You can't die. You are so perverted. While talking, Chin Luo has already leapt forward, ignoring Kaido, the beast he stunned. This girl's combat power and vitality are very tenacious and will not be smashed to death. If he is killed by Chin Luo, it can only prove that Kaido is too fragile to survive in this world. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. After Chin Luo left, Kaido's head with two horns suddenly bulged up with a big bump, which was exactly the same shape as a human. Chin Luo climbed out of the pit, and was dragged aside by Taotu abruptly. Let me see if you are injured. You fell from such a high place. Have you broken your arm and leg? Are you paralyzed? Are you brain disabled? Taotu was like a curious baby, hesitantly. Makes Chin Luo extremely helpless. Hey, hey, isn't it just falling from a height of 10,000 meters? Is it so scary? Are your brain disabled? Your brain was stupid. Taotu stared at Chin Luo scrutinizingly, and analyzed Chin Luo as an idiot from his words. You were stupid. Chin Luo rolled his eyes and said. Fart, falling from a height of 10,000 meters, do you dare to say that it is not terrible? Isn't this what is brain damage? Taotu argued for reasons, seriously suspecting that Chin Luo's brain is not working well. Advertisement. Too lazy to care about you. In the end, Taotu checked it over and over again, but did not see what was wrong with Chin Luo. At this moment, Taotu's heart is undergoing earth-shaking changes. Surprise, shock, surprise, incomprehension, and confusion filled her heart. Finally, Taotu gradually became numb. For Chin Luo, Taotu no longer intends to use human beings to describe him. It should be called the strongest metamorphosis. At this moment, countless pirates rushed from the island to the place where Chin Luo fell just now. For a while, the pit, which was several hundred meters wide, was already full of figures. 
From tens of millions of Bailey's pirates to hundreds of millions of Bailey's pirates, they all stared dumbfounded at the pit in front of them, shocked to the extreme. Ship. Captain. I'm afraid that was caused by the man just now, right? Hey, how high do you want to jump down from such a deep hole? That person must definitely die. The pit is so deep, how terrifying impact does it have? Do you still use nonsense? Surely he is dead. As everyone was discussing, the earth shook violently, as if an earthquake had occurred. What happened? The pirates, look at me, I stare at you, all surprised. Brother, it came from the pit. What? In the pit. Just as countless pirates were discussing, a big dark hand directly grabbed the edge of the pit, and the whole person jumped out with force. Boom. The earth trembled and the dust flew up. Advertisement. A figure appeared in front of all the pirates. This burly man has a burly figure, a black hair shawl, a pair of horns on his head, a long beard, a bright red tattoo on his left arm, his upper body is naked, and his explanatory muscles are full of explosive power. This person looks extremely ferocious, with big eyes and a menacing attitude. It's just that such a fierce and sturdy man was stunned by a big bulge above his head. F.K. Who is this guy? Hundred. Kaido Kaido. The one who often singled out others. I heard that this cargo was caught by Marine several times, but Marine can't kill this cargo by any means. Did this guy commit suicide again? Jump down from above. It's not him. I saw it clearly just now. The kid who fell just now is much smaller than Kaido, the beast. That. Why is Kaido the beast here? All the pirates were shocked on the spot, swallowed in terror, cold sweat broke out. It turned out to be a beast Kaido. This crazy man. Stronger than Roger, Whitebeard is so annoying to be entangled by this person. Obviously Kaido can't do them, but they can't kill this guy either. Even Marine, there is a faint fear. When these little pirates saw Kaido, they were shocked to the point of diabetes. Who? Who stunned the labor and management? Give the labor and management out. Chapter 60. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When these little pirates saw that it was Kaido, they were shocked to the point of suffering. Who? Who stunned the labor and management? Give the labor and management out. Beast Kaido clutched his head swollen into a bun, and roared angrily. All the pirates stood on the spot, shivering and trembling, and did not dare to lift their feet. Hundred. Kaido. Guru. These little characters, only in the legends have heard the name of Kaido, the beast, and now they really meet this kind of god, they are immediately shocked by the thick figure of Kaido and the invisible hockey. Damn. Who is it? Stand up for labor and management. I want to kill him alive. Seeing that no one answered, Kaido was suddenly furious, and someone provoke him, the strongest creature in history. Oh shit. That is to break ground on Tai Sui's head. Simply tired of living. It's you. Kaido Kaido turned around and glared at all the pirates present. The bloody eyes of the copper bell were full of flames of anger, and he couldn't wait to blast everyone in front of him to pieces. No. No. Hundred beasts Kaido's hostile gaze immediately made the pirate tremble and dare not talk nonsense. Who smashed the labor and capital? Damn, the smashed labor and capital hurts. Kaido pointedly cursed at the sky, and at the same time touched his thick palms to the large human-shaped bag that rose above his head. No, I don't know. Guy, Kaido, we didn't see anyone hit you, we thought you fell from the sky. A pirate who bounty 100 million baileys said with fear. Advertisement. Fart. Labor and management have to jump down from the sky after taking the wrong medicine. Kaido Kaido glared at everyone, and Conqueror's hockey invisibly stunned the audience. In fact, Kaido wanted to go to the world government this time. As a self-abusing person, he would feel uncomfortable if he didn't get beaten for a day. Maybe it was because of the base nature. So Kaido wanted to go straight from New World. Go to world government. However, he had just set off from New World when he was sniped here. Kaido is always proud of his physical invincibility, and has used countless experiments to prove his indestructible physical evidence. But today, he suffered a violent loss and was inexplicably smashed out of a big bag. He was dizzy, it was incredible. Known as the strongest creature in history, it was a shame to be smashed into a Venus and passed out in a coma. Since you don't know, everyone will pay for my life. Kaido, the beast, was so angry that he grabbed the crowd with his big hands without hesitation. Run away, beast Kaido. Spare my life. Those pirates don't even have the courage to confront Kaido, even if they stand and let them fight, they are not opponents, let alone the moment when Kaido is angry. For a time, all the pirates scattered like birds and beasts and fled frantically. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Die all to me. Kaido, the beast, is no nonsense. He squeezed his palm out quickly and directly caught the pirate who was fleeing. With a big hand, it was as easy as squeezing an ant. Those pirates became a pool of flesh among everyone. Seeing the horror of Kaido, the other pirates flee desperately. Monster. Monster. Run away. 
Kaido didn't panic at all when they were scattered and fled, the palm of his hand was waving, and a large part of him died suddenly. In just a few minutes, there was a miserable situation on the deserted island. Advertisement. It is so miserable that those who have broken arms and legs, have been dismantled, and have been crushed into meat sauce. After killing some people, Kaido, the beast, took the last fart and sat on the ground, continuing to rub his head. Damn, it hurts me so much. Woohoo. At the same time, there are some pirates who escaped from the dead and finally got rid of the clutches of the beast Kaido, heading for the new world. At the same time, Shin Luo, the instigator of all this, flew towards the sea ahead with a chic and humorous beauty. Say wolf, where are you taking me? Tautu pouted, seemingly angry with Shin Luo because of the stimulating activity just now. Where? Just follow me. No, you have to tell me, where are you going? The fish men island. To avoid Tautu stalking, Shin Luo did not hide it, and said it directly. You are going to the fish men island. How to get there? The fish men island is 10,000 meters deep in the sea. Do you have a boat? Tautu blinked her beautiful eyes and asked in confusion. What kind of boat do you want? Why don't you just swim down? Puff. Are you really stupid? The fish men island is in the deep sea. I am afraid you will be drowned before you go down, or you will be crushed to death by the water. Or you will be swallowed by the sea kings. I but I heard Crane said that going to the fish men island is very dangerous. Crane knows what a fart. Shin Luo rolled his eyes and directly used the overlord of the sea's full level ability. Suddenly, Shin Luo turned into an illusory fluid with only appearance. Wow, what is your ability? Dao seeing Shin Luo's changes, the rabbit was surprised for a while, and instantly became a little fan. Catch me and take you to the deep sea. No, this will die, Tautu rebuffed. How to die? Shin Luo wondered. You are a capable person, you will become a land duck when you enter the sea, and if you die, I will definitely not survive. If you want to go on your own, I will never go. Tautu IQ went online for the first time, and it was organized. Idiot, labor and capital are not capable people. Shin Luo stared at Tautu with contempt and smiled. Advertisement. You are not a capable person, can you still have near superhuman abilities? You treat me as an idiot. Tautu shouted angrily, pointing to Chin Luo. You are really an idiot, let's open your eyes today. After Chin Luo finished speaking, he directly grasped Tautu with his fluid arm, and immediately closed his eyes. The system, how can we feel the water sources all over the world? Ding, the water resources map is being opened, and the opening is complete. After that, a piece of light spot appeared in Chin Luo's mind, and where these light spots were clearly marked. Even above the light spot, the name of the place is marked in an extremely user-friendly way. 3.6. For example, Naval Headquarters Marin Bando. New World, Punk Hassad, Drez Rosa, and even World Government Mary Geois. Tens of thousands of light spots are all the locations of water sources. Can you zoom in? Yes. The system said, and immediately under the operation of Chin Luo, the site of Naval Headquarters was directly enlarged by a thousand times, and immediately, the name and base of the entire Naval Headquarters were marked. It can even create a three-dimensional picture, which is simply breathtaking. After a while, Chin Luo finally figured out how to use it. Chin Luo directly found a spot of light on the map that was 1 10,000 meters below the ground in the Chambord Islands. The location of this spot of light was on the Fishman Island. And, Chin Luo also deliberately enlarged it a bit. The location of this light spot is in the bathroom of a mermaid. Wow. Chapter 61. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Seeing that what this light spot shows is exactly in the bathroom, it is conceivable that there must be some indescribable pictures inside. System, can I go there in a flash now? Make up his mind, Chin Luo asked. Yes, as long as you tap the light spot, you can enter on your own. However, you can only act alone and cannot lead the girls around you. What, can't you take her in? Chin Luo widened his eyes slightly in surprise, and asked, why not? Because only you have the special right to travel through the space in an instant, no one else can. This should be regarded as a system-setting problem. After being clear, Chin Luo gave up his plan to go to that light spot. Go, I'll take you down. Chin Luo grabbed it with one hand, and dragged Tautu a fierce child into the sea. At this moment, the sea seemed to be spiritual. Before it touched Tautu, it was completely pushed aside, making some space for Tautu, and there is still enough air in this space. This weird move was created by Chin Luo directly using the special rights of the overlord of the sea at his full level. It's amazing. Tautu opened her closed eyes, suddenly surprised. This is the first time she has entered the sea under the Chambordian Islands. The huge sea kings swam from Chin Luo's side, but none of them dared to provoke Chin Luo. On the contrary, these sea kings also made very intimate actions, like pets fighting for favor, to please their owners. 433. Tautu didn't know if this was an illusion. In short, 
She was surprised. Qin Luo entered the sea and did not become as weak as those who had the power of devil fruit. On the contrary, Tao Tu thinks that Qin Luo enters the sea, and the whole person becomes alive, like a fish in water. You are such a monster. Finally, Tao Tu made such an evaluation. And Qin Luo smiled indifferently, and walked towards the deep sea. Advertisement. After a minute or so, I arrived at a depth of 10,000 meters, and Qin Luo found an island under the sea when he was familiar with the road. The island is floating in the sky, and the huge double-layer bubble film shield surrounds the entire island. From a distance, it seems to be a dream world. And in the center of the huge bubble, there is a circular opening, where there is a passage for entry and exit. Is this the Fishmen Island? It's so beautiful. Tao Tu was fascinated, looking forward to the Fishmen Island. It's just that there are no soldiers guarding the entrance at this moment, which makes Chin Luo a little surprised. After swimming, I saw the Dragon Palace city above the Fishmen Island, where King Neptune lived. The Fishmen Island has the sun, air, clouds, and the ocean at the bottom, the land on the first floor, the sky above, and the Dragon Palace city above the sky. At this moment, the spiral door was also shattered by a blast, and the passage was open and there was no guard. Strange, it shouldn't be. Chin Luo is familiar with the Fishmen Island. King Neptune has always strictly controlled the Fishmen Island for fear of being harmed. Entering the spiral door, you came directly to Dragon Palace City. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Inside the Dragon Palace City, there was a mess. It seemed like a melee here. The ground was stained with bright red, and the corpses were lying all around. Mermaid, murloc, mixed with human corpses, like hell on earth. What's the situation? Tao Tu opened her eyes wide, breathing quickly. It must be a riot. Go, go and see. No wonder I didn't see a figure when I just came in. Under the leadership of Chin Luo, Tao Tu and Chin Luo rushed into the Dragon Palace. Inside the palace, chaos, the original prosperity and luxury no longer exist. Advertisement. In the palace, there are countless mermaids and murlocs holding weapons, their faces dignified and gloomy. What's happening? Chin Luo walked over in a daze, and slowly saw that in front of these soldiers, there was a group of humans standing there. They were holding weapons, each arrogant and domineering. The headed human was with a few scars on his face. He was extremely hideous. At the same time, there are spiders carved on their arms. Nipton. The king's seat is occupied by labor and capital. From now on, you dead mermaid, you will directly roll your bed and go. This dragon palace city and the fishmen island belong to our spider pirate group. This person is extremely fierce and rushes. Neptune said the tide firm. I, I can't give you the fishmen island. This is my people. Is there a lot of nonsense? The captain of the spider pirate group slapped him, but his very small body exploded with amazing power. With one palm, he hit Neptune's mouth and spurted blood. Trash. Dare to resist. I will kill you directly. King. Let go of the king. You agree to whatever conditions you want. Seeing Neptune being abused, the people and soldiers of the Fishman Island were very angry, gritted their teeth and wanted to resist. But their king is in the hands of others, there is no way at all. Let go. All of you kneel down for me. Otherwise, I will kill him. The captain of the Spider Pirates group, Kukaseli, said with a fierce threat. Neil you are paralyzed. Suddenly, a harsh sound came into the ears of the captain of the Spider Pirate group. Who? Who is presumptuous? Come out. Labor and management slap you to death. Ha ha. Chin Luo gave a chuckle, and then pushed the soldiers away freely and walked in. Advertisement. You, even you dare to laugh at labor and capital. Labor and capital are big pirates worth 200 million baileys. Even Whitebeard must be polite to me. What kind of thing are you? Kuka gritted his teeth, arrogant. Scolded. First of all, can you not insult the term big pirate? A mere 200 million is a big pirate. I am paralyzed by you. Whitebeard is going to be polite to you. Your cowhide is blown to the sky. I want to ask, you. Still nodding your face. Captain. Damn him. Really. Mom is arrogant. Yes. Kill him. Dare to fight the captain. A little pirate is so arrogant, he slapped him into flesh. Dare to talk back to labor and management, see if I won't kill you. Kuka was furious when he heard the words, and grabbed Chin Luo directly with a pair of big hands. This person's ability is similar to Luffy's rubber fruit ability, and his arms can extend infinitely. Chin Luo raised his head, blinked his eyes, and raised his hand lightly. The flesh body is at full level, great change. Boom. In the shocking eyes of everyone, Chin Luo's right arm was soaring rapidly, and within a short period of time, the radius was a full 10 meters, covering the sky and the sun. Slap it down. Look at the labor and management to come and shoot you into mud. Chin Luo waved his arm lightly, and the huge palm resembled a giant mountain, snapping it with a bang. The entire spider pirate group, all perished. Slap a pirate group to death. 
dash 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 in addition attach the book jun sheep lu linger flows for a long time and lu yi flows red envelopes will be issued during the holidays welcome everyone in discuss the plot together there are beautiful women chapter 62 previous chapter next chapter advertisement hi everyone gasped in longgong city the audience was silent, and people stood there in a daze, staring at the amazing figure in the hull with wide-eyed eyes. Chin Luo shoots all members of the Spider Pirates to death, it is as easy as squeezing an ant to death. Everyone was shocked and speechless. One minute later, everyone still did not recover from the shock. But at this moment, Chin Luo has retracted his palm lightly, and invited a basin of water to wash his hands. Slap all members of the Spider Pirates to death. The captain of the Spider Pirate group couldn't believe it before he died. He has always been physically tough and proud. Who can think that he is so vulnerable in front of Chin Luo, with his fruit ability, he can't even stand a slap. Before he died, his eyes were full of horror. After the palm of the hand was retracted, a huge mark of several tens of meters was revealed on the main hall. The depth was five meters deep. In the pit, all members of the spider pirate group were photographed as fleshy, bloody, and the scene was extremely shocking. I. What did I see? One slapped the entire spider pirate group. A murloc stammered. What a powerful human. Why is such a tyrannical spider pirate group crushed by one person so weirdly? Another soldier was in disbelief, his eyes widened dumbfounded, and his legs became weak in fright. Wow. He is so handsome. Slap the entire pirate group with one slap. It really is hockey. What to do? My old lady's girlish heart is beginning to overflow again. Other beautiful mermaid secretly observed Chin Luo in the corner. Her beautiful eyes are full of surprise, beauty and shyness. For a time, Chin Luo became the focus of everyone's attention, from obscurity to blockbuster. Chin Luo also took only one second and slapped it. Advertisement. In addition to shock and worship, their eyes also revealed deep fear and alertness. Such a powerful person appeared in Dragon Palace City and destroyed a pirate group with one slap. This kind of strength was enough to destroy their entire the Fishmen Island. Is this person coming a blessing or a curse? All the civilian soldiers of the Fishmen Island are standing up, showing fierceness. You don't need to look at me like this. In the Fishmen Island, I am only interested in my babes, and I don't want your life. You can still live freely in the Fishmen Island, and I will not hinder your personal affairs. Chin Luo raised his hand lazily, and answered slowly. This sentence echoed in everyone's ears just like a king's command. In the weird silence of the scene for a while, a enthusiastic call broke out immediately. Oh oh oh. Suddenly, the audience exclaimed, Countless merfolk, murlocs, and soldiers jumped in excitement, their faces filled with excitement. Everyone cheered fiercely and danced enthusiastically, as if nothing had happened just now. Money can be earned without money, but if life, dignity, and even the territory are gone, this will simply kill their mermaid and murloc. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. So, Chin Luo's condition. Not harsh. When King Neptune heard Chin Luo's answer, he was overjoyed and shouted at the soldiers around him, Let go of me. Don't rush to celebrate. Let go of me. Neptune roared loudly, and even became angry in the end, but his voice was dispelled by the enthusiastic cheers. But a dignified king was completely forgotten by them. Our hero. Hero. Wow. Hero. I am coming. Don't fight with my old mother. Be careful that my old mother farts. You will kill you. Advertisement. In this way, the audience rioted, countless young and beautiful mermaids swam to Chin Luo's side, dozens of young fish. Chin Luo directly in the jealous eyes of many male mermaids, was lifted up by the young and beautiful mermaid and thrown into the sky. Hero. Our hero. Wow. Good. Soft. Wow. Good. Soft. Wow. So happy. In this way, Chin Luo fell in countless flowers of fascinating people. Tao Tu was squeezed outside, smiling from ear to ear. She didn't know if it was an illusion, she suddenly felt that Chin Luo was not as bad as she thought. Bah. Hooligan. How can you not be bad? I don't know if it's fallen. Taotu was full of thoughts, and finally cursed, but the meaning has changed drastically. It took about 10 minutes before Chin Luo was put down by those young and beautiful mermaids, and Chin Luo was also satisfied. I don't know how many women have been attacked in Hungary, but none of this matters anymore. And Neptune, the most noble king of the Fishmen Island, was crying in the toilet. He was tied up for more than 10 minutes before anyone noticed him. In the end, he hurriedly untied the king stood in place, quickly clearing a road ahead, and Neptune also passed through the crowd and came to Chin Luo's side. Sir, thank you for your life-saving grace, I, Neptune, will not repay me. Neptune stood in front of him. He was huge, and in appearance, he was a coelacanth mermaid. No nonsense, 
I only have two requirements. Sir, please speak. Advertisement. First, I need you to accumulate treasure for several years. No problem. Neptune nodded directly and agreed. As long as he doesn't hurt the civilians, he will let Chin Luo set the terms. If he refuses Chin Luo, if Chin Luo slaps them on the Fishman Island, such a sinner, Neptune, cannot afford it. Second, I need the sap from the Yang Tree Eve here. Sap. Neptune frowned thoughtfully. The sap of the Sun Tree is the raw material for the processing of his the Fishman Island dessert. If processed normally, it can generally sell nearly 1 billion baileys a year. However, all the raw materials for this fortune have to be handed over to Chin Luo, which makes it difficult for Neptune to accept. Because all the money for selling desserts should be used to maintain the lives of the civilians in the Fishman Island, which is one of the main sources of income for the Fishman Island. If it is to be given to Chin Luo, all the people of their Fishmen will not be able to make ends meet. Sir, this sap can't be given to you. Why? Chin Luo originally thought that Neptune would agree very happily, but who would have thought, turned it down. Sir, this sun tree sap is one of the raw materials for desserts in my The Fishman Island 1.5. If we give them all to the sir, our desserts will not be produced. In this way, our main source of income will be cut off. We the fish it is difficult for all the people of Men Island to survive. As that's so, Chin Luo frowned when he heard the words, touched his chin with his fingers, and began to think. This is indeed a big problem. Chin Luo asks for this sap, so all the people of the fish Men Island will face destruction. Although he benefits alone, this is too selfish. In this way, half, how about I remove half of the Yang Tree sap? Chin Luo thought for a moment, and chose a compromise. In addition, attach the book Jun. Sheep. Lu Linger flows for a long time and Lu Yi flows. Red envelopes will be issued during the holidays. Welcome everyone in. Discuss the plot together. There are beautiful women. At the same time, Guecho flowers. Evaluation vote. Reward. Thank you for your support. Chapter 63. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In this way, half, how about I remove half of the Yang Tree sap? Chin Luo thought for a moment, and chose a compromise. If all of them are taken away, it will inevitably cause the entire the Fishmen Island to be turbulent. In the end, Chin Luo is suppressing and killing everything here. Chin Luo has this ability. However, he and the people of the Fishmen Island have no grievances and no grudges, and they will never hurt the killer. This is Chin Luo's principle. Okay, as long as we can leave half of the year, we can maintain our normal life in the Fishmen Island. Neptune agreed happily and for a while, the atmosphere was happy again. What kind of energy is the light source of this sun tree, and the sap flowing down from the sun tree is also mysterious energy. This mysterious energy can be exchanged for points. Chin Luo even thought of using money for these tree sap. This is equivalent to purchasing devil fruit alternatively. But Chin Luo is not willing to pay for this kind of money. He is thinking of a way to make the people of the Fishman Island earn money. In this case, all the Yang tree sap belongs to him. Earning money on the Fishman Island is completely behind closed doors, so he has to let the people of the Fishman Island go to the outside world to do business. In this way, the Fishman Island 10 has a source of income, and Shin Luo can enjoy the sap exclusively. The only problem is that the fish people are squeezed out of the world, the pirates catch mermaids to sell, and the fish people are also hated by the world. It can be said that the people of the Fishman Island, in addition to being free on their own territory, go out of the bottom of the sea, that will completely become the target of public criticism. This problem must be solved. Let all the people of the Fishman Island be treated fairly. Chin Luo looked at it and seemed to have thought of a solution. Sir, we can fully fulfill our promise. But I have something to ask for. Neptune hesitated in his eyes, but still spoke. Advertisement. What's the matter? Please bless me, the Fishman Island. My the Fishman Island has been tortured to death for a long time. The people of the world government arrested our murlocs and became slaves. Countless mermaid companions were tortured to death by those animals. Moreover, countless pirates make a living by kidnapping my people. So far, thousands of our compatriots on the Fishman Island have been kidnapped all over the world and sold. Could it be that my people need to be born? Are you subjected to this kind of abuse? Please, mister, save us the Fishman Island. Neptune has spent a very long period of time in the dark, and finally he is looking forward to a savior. He really doesn't want to hesitate. Up. Seeing Neptune's snot and tears, Chin Luo couldn't help but be moved. And the peach rabbit on the side, the already bitter pear flower with rain, begged Chin Luo, Hey, say wolf, you can agree to his request. I didn't expect that the people of the Fishman Island live in such a painful life. Tautu has not experienced any storms, her heart is still very simple, she can't imagine the sinister world at all. The first time I encountered this situation, the girl's feelings couldn't help but overflow. Tautu's request Chin Luo did not answer, 
but looked at Neptune with a calm look, and said, You mean, you want me to bless you the Fishman Island? To deter other pirates? Yes, sir. Please bless us the Fishman Island. As Neptune spoke, Chin Luo knelt down. Even if he knelt down, the body of King Neptune was too tall and he still looked down at Chin Luo. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Mr. Please bless us the Fishman Island. Mr. Please. Bless. Sir. Please. Handsome guy. Please. Regardless of men, women, young or old, mermaid, or murloc, all of them bow down in front of Chin Luo at this moment, with anticipation in their eyes. There are even some young and beautiful mermaids who pleaded pitifully. This makes it difficult for Chin Luo to refuse. Advertisement. Yes, I can protect the Fishman Island and not interfere with your private affairs of the Fishman Island. However, you must pay me the sun tree sap on time, and if I find a way for you to make money in the future, those sun the sap of the tree must be mine. Chin Luo is thinking about those sap, but all these sap are energy. All are points. With such an opportunity, Chin Luo definitely does not want to miss it. It is good. Neptune didn't even think about it, and agreed directly. Oh oh oh. We have a patron god in the Fishman Island. Ha ha ha. Look at those pirate groups who dare not arrest our companions. At this moment, a little mermaid swam up to Chin Luo shyly, right? He kissed Chin Luo's face with a chirp. The cute and cute look almost melted Chin Luo. This is definitely a cute little lowly. Of course, Chin Luo has no crooked minds. Thank you, big brother, there will be a big brother in the future, whoever dares to catch me, I will find you brother. Little Lori blinked and said with a smile. Well, no problem. Chin Luo did not pretend, and gently squeezed the little mermaid. Now that the Fishman Island is sheltered, Chin Luo is no longer nonsense. Neptune also neatly ordered the soldiers to clean up the Dragon Palace city, and the rotten places were also thoroughly repaired. After an afternoon, the Dragon Palace city it has been completely renewed and restored to its original appearance. Advertisement. In the Dragon Palace, a party feast was opened, and countless beautiful young fish showed their amazing dances. Chin Luo was dazzled to watch, and there were even some mermaids who tease and tease from time to time, while Chin Luo is a gentleman. The appearance is 450, the appearance is unmoved, but the heart is dry. The heat is extremely hot. After the dance, a few soldiers came in carrying the boxes and put those things on the ground. Sir, these are the treasures I have accumulated in the Fishman Island. They are all moved out of the treasury. Please count them. Chin Luo waved his hand and opened a box at will. Inside it was shining golden and there were countless jewels. Immediately, Chin Luo used gravity to collect all the treasures into his bag. What a magical ability. Seeing this scene, countless mermaid exclaimed. Where is the sap of the Yang tree? Chin Luo actually didn't want to wait any longer. He wanted to absorb the sap. This was something he was thinking of. As soon as Chin Luo's voice fell, many soldiers carried in the barrel-like objects, which contained hundreds of barrels. Sir, there is the sun tree sap inside. We have collected the sap. This is the amount for one year. Please charge it first. Didi, what kind of energy is detected, and whether to collect it? At this moment, the system began to prompt Chin Luo. In addition, attach the book Jun. Sheep. 6.0.2.6.9.6.1.9.6. Red envelopes will be issued during the holidays. Welcome everyone in. Discuss the plot together. There are beautiful women. Chapter 64. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Didi, detect the mysterious energy, do you want to collect it? At this moment, the system began to prompt Chin Luo. Needless to say, this mysterious energy is definitely the sap of the sun tree. In response to this, Chin Luo was curious and said, get it. Drip, the first bucket, receiving, successfully receiving, get points, 100 points. A bucket of 100 points. Chin Luo roughly estimated, and found that this bucket of sap can be exchanged for 100 points. Drip, the second bucket, receiving it, the receiving is successful, earn points, 98 points. Drip, the third bucket, receiving it, successfully receiving, earn points, 108 points. Drip, 108th barrel. Chin Luo looked at the number that was not a standard, and thought in his heart, the amount of each bucket is also uncertain, so there are points, but in general, one bucket will be exchanged for 100 points. Immediately, Chin Luo looked up at the total value of points, a total of 11,000 points. Such a huge number really surprised Chin Luo. With just a few tricks, you can get points for a long time. It's like a wealth boy like Roger giving Chin Luo points every year. This is a long-term plan. In other words, Chin Luo can receive more than 10,000 points every year. If he finds a business opportunity to make money on the Fishman Island, Chin Luo can take all the sap, and the points may be reversed by then. Times. More than 20,000 points a year. This is terrifying to the point of heinous. 
Now Chin Luo has 11,000 points. This point cannot be exchanged for a full level. Due to the increase in the number of exchanges, the required points have doubled. Advertisement. The last time I spent about 7,200 points to redeem the physical body full level, this time, it will be doubled to about 14,400. And the distance to the full level again is more than 3,000 points short. Almost. Chin Luo muttered in his heart. After collecting the sap, the feeling of anxiety disappeared without a trace. In an instant, Chin Luo absorbed all the sap in the big barrel above the hall, but the kings and ministers of the Fishman Island didn't even notice it. Move these barrels down. Chin Luo spoke softly and said to the soldiers in the hall. Sir. Dot why? Didn't you say you want this sun tree sap? Now this sap is in front of you, don't you take it? Could it be that you don't want to protect our the Fishman Island? Neptune's heart sighed. With a cry, his expression changed in shock. This baby was right in front of Chin Luo, but he didn't want it. It is very likely that after careful consideration, he felt that the blessing of the Fishman Island would cause him a catastrophe, and all of them retreated. This is a huge loss for the Fishman Island. Even the Fishman Island in the future will be in dire straits again. Seeing Chin Luo hesitating, Neptune was more sure of what he was thinking, and hurriedly got up and gritted his teeth and said, Sir, in this way, we the Fishman Island will give you 10% more sun tree sap every year. Please bless us. The Fishman Island. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. The sudden change caused all the people present to hold their breath, and all their eyes focused on Chin Luo. Seeing King Neptune's anxious look, Chin Luo smiled bitterly. He just wanted to order people to move these empty buckets down. Why did this word reach the king's ears and he heard the taste of a change? And, looking at the eager expression of King Neptune, it was obvious that he was thinking as he thought. It's not that I don't want to be blessed, but that these buckets are empty and useless to me, so I ordered people to move out. Chin Luo explained leisurely. Oh, I was scared to death. It turned out to be like this. King Neptune sighed, and his tight nerves eased again. Move down these barrels. King Neptune stood up and ordered the soldiers. Soon, hundreds of soldiers walked in neatly and picked up the bucket. Advertisement. Originally, they were two people carrying a bucket, and it was extremely difficult, and even some soldiers planned to work hard again. When they lifted the bucket, they suddenly felt that the quality of the bucket at this time was completely incomparable to just now. Huh, why is it so light? Yeah, it's really lighter, it seems like nothing is pretending. Is it impossible? I watched the barrel with my own eyes just now. It was extremely heavy when I moved in, but it was so light in the blink of an eye. Did I feel that something was wrong? This barrel, so light. The soldiers had a fierce discussion, and they were all dumbfounded. In the end, they turned their eyes to Chin Luo, and they had a deep longing and admiration for this mysterious man. It must be sir. He must have done it. Awesome. What's this skill? You can absorb the contents of the bucket under one's eyelids. Whatever his skills. Anyway, he is very strong. I admire him so much. I want to give him a baby. Quote dot dot dot. Don't be idiots, how do you give birth to a man? Just like you, your husband is looking for you. If you say, he is looking for me. Two nerves, sir, don't get involved. The voices of these soldiers were very small, but everyone present could hear clearly, and King Neptune also caught them clearly, and his old face blushed and coughed a few times in embarrassment. Aside from realizing their extraordinary behavior, the soldiers obediently closed their mouths and carried the bucket out, and they carried two by one person. Sorry, sir. The subordinates don't understand the rules. What's offensive? King Neptune explained with an awkward expression. Advertisement. It's okay. Chin Luo waved his hand to indicate that he didn't care, and then said with a look of interest. Nipton, just now you said you could give me 10% more sun tree sap. Can you still change your mind now? Chin Luo has not forgotten the conditions that Neptune made when he was in a panic. Seeing Chin Luo's question, Neptune's face twitched, and said, since I have promised, I won't break my promise, sir, I will give you one more achievement every year. Okay, happy, I like a straightforward person like you. Soon, King Neptune brought up the sap of the Yichengyang tree that he had promised to give Chin Luo. Twenty barrels, Chin Luo also unceremoniously absorbed, the points rose to 13,000. Once again close to the goal of upgrading to a full level. Sir, I don't know what to use to deter the pirates. Let them not dare to offend us the Fishman Island. King Neptune thought, this is a very critical question. Although Chin Luo has shelter, some desperate pirates will come in and arrest them. If there is no powerful means of deterrence, it is impossible to scare those people. As this, I haven't thought about it. Chin Luo thought to answer. How much is the bounty of the gentleman? King Neptune asked presumptuously. A bounty. Now, Chin Luo looked at King Neptune and asked. Exactly. Estimate, maybe, maybe it's still zero, but soon. Not anymore. Chapter 65 Previous chapter. 
Next chapter. Advertisement. Attach the book King Sheep. 6.0.2.6.9.6.1.9.6. Red envelopes will be issued during the holidays. Welcome everyone in. Discuss the plot together. There are beautiful women. Add up to 30 people. One more. 60 people. Two more. No cap. Dash 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 dash. Estimate, maybe, maybe it's still zero, but soon. Not anymore. Chin Luo hesitated, if he said that his bounty won't be low, but the bounty list hasn't come out yet, and Chin Luo is sure at this moment. It is indeed zero. The amount of bounty will depend on the price when naval headquarters wants him. Zero. Mister is so powerful, how could it be zero? King Neptune looked at Chin Luo in surprise. The price of the bounty could be linked to his own strength. Originally, Neptune wanted to ask Chin Luo about the price of the bounty. Who knows if he measures his strength, it turns out to be zero. King Neptune knew that even a small pirate would have a bounty, but for a person with such a powerful ability in front of him, the bounty was zero. How could this not surprise King Neptune? There is something strange about this matter. Well, I used to be a low-key person. I originally planned to live a low-key life. Who knows that some guys who don't have long eyes always make trouble for me. In the end, I can only be forced to raise a high profile, and the bounty will come sooner or later. Things, Chin Luo said solemnly. Then, sir, preliminary estimate, your bounty will be more than 203%. King Neptune lowered his head and asked presumptuously. Chin Luo stretched out his right hand and shook it in front of King Neptune. 50 million Bailey. King Neptune short-circuited his mind and said a, scary, number. Puff. Unexpectedly. Chin Luo spouted a sip of tea. Sometimes, Chin Luo thinks this king is stupid. Can the bounty of 50 million Bailey kill a pirate with a bounty of 200 million? Are you kidding me? Seeing Chin Luo's posture, King Neptune immediately blushed and said, No, no. It's not 50 million. With your strength, you can destroy a pirate group with a slap of 50 million. How could it be possible? Then, could it be 500 million? King Neptune guessed in shock. What? A 500 million bounty? Advertisement. Oh my god. 500 million. 500 million is counted as a big pirate, right? Bah. Big pirate. Is this a big pirate? Oh my god. Mr. S. Strength must be about the same as Roger, Whitebeard, and Shaki. Awesome. A 500 million bounty gentleman protects us. Who would dare to run wild on the Fishman Island? Even the naval headquarters, don't want to provoke it easily, right? After speaking, the venue suddenly cheered. 500 million. This is an astonishing number. Moreover, this is only the first time Chin Luo has estimated the amount of reward, and I am afraid it will be more intense in the future. Even catching up with Whitebeard, Roger's bounty is not impossible. Five, five hundred million. King Neptune was shocked, his expression full of surprise. From now on, the Fishman Island, please protect me. You are the great benefactor of our the Fishman Island. You are a god. King Neptune laid down his dignity and begged Chin Luo extremely. Chin Luo didn't feel Neptune's humble attitude. On the contrary, Chin Luo admired this kind of people. He was not for himself, but for his people. He was a generation of kings. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Hum. Chin Luo nodded lightly, which gave King Neptune a sense of confidence. Then sir, what pirate group are you? Neptune asked again immediately. There is no way, as a king, you must be cautious in your words and deeds, and you must not take huge risks. Although Chin Luo is blessed, he is still not at ease. It's not that Chin Luo is worried, but that other desperate pirate groups continue to come to the Fish Men Island to go wild. If Chin Luo's pirate group is an extremely famous pirate group, then the deterrent effect will be terrifying. If Whitebeard were covering there the Fish Men Island, those other small pirate groups would definitely not dare to make trouble. Chin Luo thought a lot, and immediately understood the meaning of Neptune's words. Then he said, is it a pirate group? I'm a lonely family member, and I haven't established a pirate group, but since you have spoken, let's build a pirate group. Hearing Chin Luo said that there was no pirate group, Neptune couldn't help being slightly disappointed, but in an instant, he covered up this disappointment. Advertisement. Since you choose Mr. Then believe him. Neptune seemed to have made a major decision. He would throw away all the temptations he had thought of at the beginning and put the safety of the Fishman Island on Chin Luo. This requires a lot of courage, but fortunately, Neptune made a right bet. Sir, can you think of the name of the pirate group you want to establish? Are there any subordinates you plan to recruit? Have you thought about the icon of the pirate group? The name of the pirate group? I haven't figured it out yet. Mister, let's choose a name. I'll do it for you and build a pirate ship. Neptune is like a housekeeper, worrying about Chin Luo. When reminded by Neptune, Chin Luo suddenly thought about it. 
the pirate group, it's called the, flowing cloud, pirate group. As for the icon, wait, I'll draw one for you. After Chin Luo finished speaking, he didn't know where he got the paper and pen, and began to draw seriously, and finally an icon was drawn. A cloud, the edge of the cloud is outlined by white bars, and the inside is painted red. Seen from a distance, it is quite beautiful. This icon is exactly the red cloud icon on the clothes worn by Akatsuki members in the Naruto world. The moiré outlines the bright red color that is extremely dazzling. The cloud originally represents peace and peace, but after turning the cloud red, it means bringing brutality, blood, and aggression to this piece. Red means blood. And this red cloud logo is most suitable for Chin Luo's plan to overthrow the world government. Only with tyrannical strength can we have absolute right to speak. Chin Luo does not intend to use a soft policy, but to slaughter all those evil powers. Give people a light. So, this red cloud icon is very suitable for Chin Luo's idea. Afterwards, Chin Luo drew another dress and embroidered a few red clouds on the dress and painted it with colors. Except for the red clouds and cloud textures, the rest are all dyed black. Advertisement. It is the Hongyang clothes of the members of the Naruto world, Xiao, organization. Prepare several sets of these clothes according to what I drew, and the icons are also made for me according to the paper. I am useful. After Chin Luo finished painting, he handed this thing to Neptune, and then drank some fine wine. Afterwards, the banquet ended, and Taotu followed Chin Luo for a day, exhausted physically and mentally, and immediately found a room in the palace to sleep. For Chin Luo, it is impossible for Taotu to want to escape. So I didn't bother to pay attention to Taotu. He also walked into a room and fell asleep. The next day, King Neptune hurried to the gate of Chin Luo and began to wait. Crunch. The door was opened, and there was a misty voice. Come in. Neptune was surprised by Chin Luo's perceptual power and walked directly in. Sir, these are the clothes and icons you want. King Neptune offered them with respectful hands, as if Chin Luo was the king here. Not bad. Seeing the clothes and icons, they are no different from the icons in Naruto world, and Chin Luo couldn't help but compliment them. Then sir, these things are all there except that it takes some time to build the ship, they have been arranged for you. Yeah, Chin Luo nodded, expressing understanding. Sir, I don't know what you plan to do with this clothes and icon. Neptune asked curiously. Go warn the world, the Fishman Island, I will cover it. Chapter 66. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Go warn the world, the Fishman Island, I will cover it. After Chin Luo finished speaking in a cool manner, he immediately put on the red cloud robe, and a breath of indifference immediately surrounded Chin Luo, and the faintly shocked King Neptune retreated. The messy hair hangs on both sides, and Chin Luo's unsmiling face is extremely cool. He did not speak, but an invisible aloofness appeared from Chin Luo. This red cloud robe definitely occupies a large part of the factor. Red clouds represent blood, and black clothes represent the use of bloody, dark and brutal means to overthrow this government. It can be said that this dress is the best proof of Chin Luo's will. Wow, so handsome. Taotu instantly turned into a little fangirl, blinking her beautiful eyes, clenching her pink fist, surprised. I just found out that I'm handsome. Chin Luo glanced at Taotu indifferently, with a calm tone. In an instant, the peach and rabbit were swept over. Nipton, place this red cloud symbol on your prominent position on the Fishman Island. From then on, no pirate will dare to provoke you. Chin Luo said calmly, yes, sir. Neptune didn't dare to be presumptuous at all. For some reason, Chin Luo always had an invisible hockey. As long as Neptune and Chin Luo looked at each other, Neptune was always overwhelmed by Chin Luo's aura. Don't dare to talk too much. Go, I'll take you to meet the world. Chin Luo greeted, whether Taotu wanted it or not, he forced her under her control and walked outside of Dragon Palace. Where are you taking me? Taotu didn't scold Chin Luo's wolf for the first time, and the chick's tone became a lot shy, which made Chin Luo a little uncomfortable. Take you to the Holy Land and see the garbage who were protected by the world government. What they did, you naturally have justice in your heart. Advertisement. Chin Luo wants to become a brainwashing professional, and intends to wash the little girl once, break her original thoughts, and thoroughly let her understand the dark side of the world. Holy place. You mean to go to the holy place Mary Geois? Where does Lord Celestial Dragons live? Exactly. Chin Luo nodded, then used the overlord of the sea to control the current at full level, and rushed up with Taotu. At the same time, naval headquarters, Malin Bander. Inside the marshal's house, Gengu Kong was full of anger. What do you do for food? The M-shaped beard on the steel-boned empty chin was trembling with anger, and screamed at all Lieutenant General Marine in the office. Sakazuki was captured, Pelusolino was captured, Zephyr was captured, even Sengoku was captured, so many of you, you can't beat even a young man. What a Marine. Sora was extremely angry. 
This is the first time I have suffered a huge loss. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. An event that can make the entire naval headquarters turbulent. After Marine Admiral was caught, this matter was passed to every corner of naval headquarters in a very short time. Even the Marine branch knows it. Originally, Gangukong wanted to suppress this scandal. I don't know where the wind was revealed. Suddenly, the whole world went viral. All the elites in naval headquarters rounded up Chin Luo, but Chin Luo arrested several admiral and left easily. This incident. In an instant, Chin Luo's name resounded throughout the world. Originally, Chin Luo beat celestial dragons brutally, only the residents of Chambord and the soldiers of naval headquarters knew. But this one, Chin Luo has become a celebrity completely. Faintly, the momentum has overtaken Roger. Advertisement. Admiral of headquarters was caught by a pirate. And also leave easily under the hands of so many elite forces. This is definitely a shame. This is the shame of naval headquarters. Not only did not rescue celestial dragons. He even lost a few admiral. This incident. You did a great job. The face of the dignified naval headquarters. You lost all of it. The steel frame was full of anger. Is furiously furious. Garp, who was headed, stood aside quietly, without saying a word. Lieutenant General Crane, Bastille, Ghost Spider and others, clenched their fists in all expressions, were silent. This time it was really useless. Not only failed to capture celestial dragons, but also suffered a big loss. This is simply the biggest shame since the establishment of naval headquarters. Marshal, suddenly, Lieutenant General Crane stepped forward. What's the matter? Gang Gukong raised his head, suppressing his anger. Chin Luo asked his marine to prepare 8 billion baileys in 5 days and wait for him at New World. If we don't go, he will tear up the ticket. What? The steel bones heard the words, and the veins burst. The whole person was furious to the point that it could not be added, and his right hand slapped on the table with a thud, and the table was suddenly shattered completely. Dare to threaten Marine. He is really desperate. The steel-bonded Hungarian's mouth fluctuated violently, his expression was terrifying. Tell him. No way. Marine won't bow to the evil forces. Gang Bone roared decisively, obviously already madly confused. But, Marshal, Zephyr and Sengoku are both in his hands, if we don't agree. I'm afraid Chin Luo will really tear the ticket. At that time, our naval headquarters will have a huge loss. Then use 8 billion baileys to redeem people. Isn't it a huge loss? 8 billion. Why didn't he grab it? Gang Gukong roared with wide-eyed eyes. Those naval headquarters lieutenant generals stood aside pale in fright, sweating from behind. Dot dot dot. Advertisement. But the marshal, if you don't give him 8 billion, we will lose a few admiral. Zephyr, Sengoku, even Sakazuki and Pelusolino are the seedlings of admiral. Are you really thinking about it? Lieutenant General Crane after careful analysis, I didn't feel timid because of Gangukong's anger. Damn it. Finally, Gangukong clenched an iron fist and said, go and prepare for 8 billion baileys. Five days later, I will go to fight myself. Rescued Sengoku, Zephyr, and after waiting for others, I will kill them directly in New World. But Marshal, have you ignored the mysterious family behind this person? Hearing the words, Gangukong suddenly calmed down his original anger, and finally gritted his teeth and said, even if you don't kill him. Then you have to catch this Chin Luo. Marine's money. It's not so easy to take. How much does he take? I'll let him spit out as much. All Marines, gather me to New World. Five days later, catch this person. Yes, everyone said in unison. Issued a wanted order. Raise Chin Luo's bounty to one billion. Use the power of the world to arrest him. I don't believe it. He can be an enemy of the whole world. Yes. Then, a wanted order was sent out from naval headquarters, this man. It is Chin Luo, a newcomer. Bounty. One billion. Recommend a friend cool book. The Life of the God of Cooking from Scratch God Level Oshima Master, The Pirate's Devil Fruit Tree Jinchuriki. Chapter 67. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Chin Luo. One billion bounty. Where is this newcomer? I have never heard of him before. The captain of the Beast Pirate Group was puzzled and looked at the headlines in the newspaper. Captain. Is that terrible? A billion. This is already catching up to Whitebeard. Whitebeard also walked up step by step. And this kid has already offered a reward of one billion for the first time. What the hell did he do? I heard that the Tianlongren were beaten violently, and even the admiral of headquarters was arrested, and there was more than one. FK. This buddy is so fierce. It's rumored that he used one enemy, and in the end Marine didn't get the slightest advantage. Instead, he lost his wife and broke down. All the members of the Beast Pirate group talked a lot. The government's wanted order has been issued. Wanted Chin Luo, bounties of 1 billion yuan. Hey, are you guys interested in challenging it? A blonde-haired young man laughed. What? You asked me to challenge the 1 billion pirates. You might as well just let me die more directly. 
Although I am a bounty hunter, I know how many caddies you are. I'm afraid that my head will be chopped off by then. If you don't come down, take my life in. Hey, your kid is also very smart. Nonsense, do you dare to fight a pirate who is offering a billion bounty? People can slap you to death with one slap. New World. Roger Pirates. Captain. Marine's wanted order has come down. Mr. Chin Luo's bounty has come out. On the Golden Jack, Rayleigh walked to Roger Pale, holding a newspaper. How many billions? Roger asked curiously. Advertisement. Billions. Rayleigh stretched out ten fingers. Billions. Roger looked up in surprise when he heard the words, with a look of disbelief. Let me see. After speaking, Rayleigh handed the newspaper to Roger. After Roger saw the familiar figure, he looked down. Chin Luo. Bounty. Asterisk asterisk Bailey. How can it be so high? Roger recalled that when he first offered a reward, it was only tens of millions of Baileys, which is almost a thousand miles away from Shin Luo. Moreover, this is the first time that a reward has been offered, so much more than that. The future of Shin Luo is simply limitless. Yeah, I was shocked too. Rayleigh stood for a while, feeling that Hun's mouth started to hurt again, and hurriedly sat down. In the future, New World will be surging again. We are not only two enemies. Roger raised his head and looked into the distance. In addition to Whitebeard and Shaki, there will be one more enemy. New World. The Whitebeard Pirates. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. On the huge, mobile, the elites of the Whitebeard Pirate group gathered on the ship. Captain Whitebeard Edward Cowgate sat on the deck drastically. Holding a newspaper in hand. Chin Luo. A billion bounty. Where did the kid come from? Whitebeard had never contacted Chin Luo, so he was shocked by the news. Father. I heard that he beat the dragons violently, even kidnapped Admiral of Headquarters, and even threatened Naval Headquarters to spend 8 billion in substitutions. Said Phantasmal Marco. 8 billion. This kid is so courageous. He even dared to blackmail Marine, and he blackmailed so fiercely. Advertisement. Father, I heard that they will be trading in New World in 5 days. Do you think Naval Headquarters will ransom people obediently? Ranking people with money. After dealing with Naval Headquarters so many times, do you think that Marine will suffer such a dumb loss? What does dad mean? Naval headquarters will turn their faces. Then catch this kid. 9 out of 10. Look, whether this kid can escape or not is one thing. I heard that this time the naval headquarters Marshal Gang Gukong personally led the troop transaction. There is a good show. That is the Marshal's steel bones. It is estimated that this kid is dead. Who said no? If there is bravery but no plan, even if a reward of 1 billion is offered, it is just an instant firework. In the end, you will not be able to escape the fate of falling. In this world, except for Roger who is worthy of being an opponent with our father, who else can you? Father. After five days, do you want to intervene? Intervention. Don't. The naval headquarters are all dispatched. This is no trivial matter. If we are the first bird, the consequences will be serious. Both Golden Lion Shaki and Roger are staring at it. There is a slight mistake. The entire Whitebeard pirate group will fall. So, not this time. Adventure. At the same time, the whole world is shocked by Chin Luo's bounty, which is like a blockbuster, bursting in this world. In the world, large and small pirate groups are discussing this mystery man. Big Mom Pirate Group, Kaido Pirate Group, and a series of pirate groups, are very curious about this Chin Luo. The Fish Men Island. King. Wanted from Naval Headquarters. Wanted. Who is wanted? King Neptune asked as he was doing it. Our God wanted. Mr. Chin Luo. What? Bless us Chin Luo from the Fish Men Island. How many baileys has he been offered a reward? King, guess what? A minister said with a smile from ear to ear. 500 million. Neptune remembered that Chin Luo had guessed it last time, so Neptune directly said 500 million. Wrong. Advertisement. Lower or higher? Low. 600 million. Still low. Is it 700 million? My god. This is already a very powerful pirate. Neptune was paralyzed to the ground in shock, muttering to himself. It's still wrong. Mr. Chin Luo's bounty. 1 billion. What? 10. A billion. The king was dumbfounded, and his whole person was frightened. My god, I actually found a billion pirate to be our patron of the Fishmen Island. What a treasure. Yes. Fortunately, the king is wise. With god Chin Luo blessing us the Fishmen Island, who would dare to come? I believe that the white 5.6 beard is not willing to provoke our god. The people of the Fishmen Island already regard Chin Luo as a god. Save them in dire straits. Hee <laughs> hee. My the Fish Men Island is finally welcoming Bright. Chin Luo is being discussed all over the world. In a short period of time, Chin Luo went from obscurity to a great pirate who can rival Whitebeard. All this shocked the world. At this moment, Chin Luo, the instigator who has disrupted the world, has stopped on the Red Earth continent. The Holy Land is ahead. Mary Geois.
Dragon people, here I am. Recommend a friend's new book, Entertainment. Unlimited Predation. Chapter 68. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Xin Luo and Taotu are now on the Red Soil Continent. And next to it is the Holy Land of World Government. Mary Geois. Xin Luo. Here are celestial dragons, why did you bring me here? I brought you here to let you see clearly the evil of this world. The evil protected by naval headquarters. The evil protected by the world government. The evil protected by the naval headquarters. The evil protected by the world government. Xin Luo, what are you talking about? Although Tao Tu heard some rumors about celestial dragons bloody and violent, defiant, arrogant, but she never touched however, I don't know much about the situation, it's just that naval headquarters asks for protection of celestial dragons, and they obey in the mist. The system, how to hide the breath of others. Xin Luo understands that although he is strong, he is only gravitational, repulsive, physical body, the overlord of the sea at full level, he has no way to hide his breath, it is like a kill a pig can get ten hands. You let him catch fish. Isn't it hard for him? Each has its own strength. But there are also shortcomings. And Xin Luo's exchange of mysterious energy all over the world is to make up for these shortcomings. Although it is possible to borrow the overlord of the sea at full level to use the water source to enter it, there is no guarantee that it will not be discovered by five elders. It's not that Xin Luo is afraid of five elders, but the purpose of Xin Luo's coming this time is to educate Peach Rabbit as the first place. After Peach Rabbit understands the truth of the world, Xin Luo is bound to compete with five elders. Hidden breath. I have a way to hide breath here. It takes one hour and costs 1,000 points. 1,000. Xin Luo was stunned. Is this system too good at raising prices? Advertisement. To hide your breath for an hour, you need 1,000 points. Why doesn't it grab it? Thousand-year-old system. Young people are not deceived. It takes one hour to redeem two copies. Xin Luo reluctantly gave up his love and threw out the points. Ding. Redeeming. The redemption is successful. Deduction. 2,000 points. Remaining points. 11,000. Xin Luo's mouth twitched, and he threw in 2,000 points for no reason, but in order to completely brainwash Taotu, this was the only way to do it. Hidden. Xin Luo secretly said, and his body was immediately covered with a layer of gray mist, which was hard to catch with the naked eye, and Xin Luo's breath and figure disappeared without a trace, as if there was no such person as Xin Luo. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. And Taotu, also dressed up, concealed his breath and whereabouts. Huh. What is this on my body? The peach rabbit who noticed the abnormality, looked at the things wrapped in her body, suddenly surprised. This is a fetish. It can conceal your breath and body, and even your sound can be concealed. Observation hockey can't detect you. Except I can see you. No one in this world can detect you. Quote. So amazing. Tautu opened her beautiful eyes in surprise. Yes it is. I don't believe it. Tautu directly objected. There is such a magical thing in this world. Impossible. It's really ignorant, but it's not to blame you, you can experience it yourself. Shin Luo didn't want to talk nonsense. Advertisement. If you can hide your body and breath, you won't worry about five elders being bothered. Although Chin Luo is not afraid of revealing his whereabouts, the intervention of five elders will disturb Chin Luo's brainwashing of yaxing for Taotu. The two quickly flew to Mary Geois, the holy place, and soon escaped into it, but no one noticed the world government five elders. In a luxurious and wealthy mansion, Xin Luo and Taotu swaggered into it, the slaves and celestial dragons were unaware of it. Damn trash. It really made this holy face sweeping. Suddenly, an angry celestial dragons walked in from the door, kneeling behind and crawling with the slave. Although he was kneeling, the slave was very agile. My lord. This slave is really useless. I made you lose your face in front of the tier lords today. It's all the credit of this beast. Next to celestial dragons, a man wearing gold glasses has a venomous look and fanciful intrigue. Dao. My lord. Forgive me. My lord. The little one is too hungry. There is no energy. If I am full, I will definitely beat him. My lord. I am giving the little one a chance. The slave was miserable, blood dripping from his body. The wound is extremely hideous, and the whole person is skinny, like a skeleton. Even so, the slave kneeling on the ground begged for mercy with all his strength. This slave was originally a pirate. After being caught, he served celestial dragons. The collar worn on his neck was a means of restraining the pirate. He was afraid of death, so he survived to this day. Useless rubbish. Let me lose my face in Charolette, and even let him completely humiliate him. You are unforgivable. The flames of Lord's Head were throbbing, and the eyes were naked. Anger. Ross. Cut this trash to me, throw it out to feed the dog. Lord Lord's Head flew into a rage and directly sentenced this person to death. No. My lord. No. I don't want to die yet. The slave stared in despair and roared with exhaustion. The peach rabbit on the side looked shocking, and his face was a little distorted. 
Advertisement. Too much bullying. There is no need for Chin Luo to talk too much, at this moment Tao Tu starts to become angry. Soon, the slave was dragged out, and under the 787 skin of Chin Luo and Tao Tu, the slave was cut alive and chopped into mashed meat to feed. Seeing this scene, Tao Tu was shocked a lot and squeezed into Chin Luo's arms and wept bitterly. Well, this is the cruelty of the world. Only the strong have the right to speak, and these celestial dragons, under the blessing of the world government, are arrogant and domineering. Do you still think that everything Marine does is just? Quote. I, I don't know. But, what if this is a special situation? Only this celestial dragons does this. Or the pirate is so evil and deserves to be killed like this. That way, our Marine is just. Tao Tu said inwardly. There was a fierce struggle. Really? Well, I'll show you later. However, this celestial dragons, I'm settled. Chin Luo raised his eyelids, walked up to Lord Lord's head, and slapped him. Snapped. The crisp sound resounded through the courtyard, and Lord Lord's head flew out without warning, fell to the ground with blood from his mouth, curled up in pain. Chin Luo didn't use any force, otherwise, the celestial dragons would have died long ago. Who, at the sudden scene, the frightened Lord's head sacred heart was frightened, ignoring the physical pain, and directly yelled. Rose's face turned green with horror, and his eyes were full of horror. Chapter 69 Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Rose's face turned green with fright, and his eyes were full of horror. Who? Who beat me? Rosehead's holy hair stood up. Cold sweat instantly shed. There was silence all around, and no one answered. In fact, Chin Luo wanted to talk, but this mysterious energy concealed Chin Luo's breath, whereabouts, and voice. Even if Chin Luo spoke, the Lord Lord's head could not hear it. Therefore, Chin Luo didn't bother to open his mouth. My Lord, are you okay? Rose walked fearfully in front of Lord Lord's head, intending to help Lord Lord's head up. Chin Luo gave this guy a kick when he went up. Thump. Rose's feet were unstable, and Chin Luo kicked to the ground, directly hitting the miserable Lord Lord's, who was lying on the ground. Ah, Saint Lord's head and Rose screamed again and again, their voices resounding through the whole family. Master. Grown-ups. The servants of celestial dragons hurriedly put down the things in their hands and hurried over. They don't really care about Lord Lord's head, they just don't want to be abused or beaten by Lord Lord's head. And under the appearance that seems to be concerned, it is actually afraid of the rights of celestial dragons. Advertisement. Go away. Damn thing. Lord Lord's head was so furious, he kicked Rose away, and the whole person was hit with great pain. Rose fell to the ground, spurting blood from his mouth and nose, and stood up and knelt on the ground in fear. Sir, the little one is damn it, the little one is really not intentional. The little one is damn it. Master. Grown-ups. Other servants also rushed in. One of the servants was quick-eyed and planned to help Lord Lord's head. Go away. This saint doesn't need your support. A bunch of rubbish. Dirty slaves. The dignity of this saint must never be defiled by your slaves. After speaking, the servants around him hurriedly moved away, looking at Saint Lord's head himself getting up with excessive shock. Hiss. An air conditioner poured in from his mouth, and Saint Lord's head suffered a great deal of pain all over his body, as if he was pierced by thousands of silver needles. Slap. Chin Luo was upset, and slapped again. Suddenly, Lord's head's holy eye stared at Venus, and the whole person was fainted. Quickly, several celestial dragons came in this wide courtyard. All are members of this clan. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Son, what's the matter with you? Suddenly there was a sharp-eyed celestial dragons, and when he saw Saint Lord's head flying out bloody, he suddenly panicked. This celestial dragons is named Rokumar Saint, who is Lord's head and the son of this Rokumar Saint. Brother. Another celestial dragons, who was slightly older, also shouted. Several celestial dragons have noticed Lord Lord's head and rushed towards this place. But before Chin Luo was in front of him, these celestial dragons were directly slapped by Chin Luo. Decisive. Simply. For a while, these celestial dragons all flew upside down, and without accident, all of them were seriously injured and dying. Advertisement. Master. My lord. The slaves were going crazy, all scared to death. A bunch of miscellaneous pieces, all caught. Chin Luo smiled slightly and raised his right hand slightly. For a while, all the celestial dragons present were pushed into the abyss of hell by Chin Luo. What? What? Lord Celestial Dragons, disappeared. Gone. All the celestial dragons are gone. Who? Who did it on earth? Grandpa please forgive me. Grandpa please forgive me. Suddenly, those servants knelt on the ground shivering, for fear that they would be killed strangely. Invisible fear is the most deadly. Chin Luo didn't want to kill them all and ignored the frightened servant who was kneeling on the ground. Instead, he walked out of the mansion with Tao Tu. Another mansion. Lord Celestial Dragons, this slave really made you face today. It was actually able to win against Lord Lord's head's slaves.
At that time, the little Lord Lordshead's face was distorted into a ball. At this moment, the distance from Lordshead in another mansion not far from the holy mansion, the butler was constantly flattering. Ha ha ha, this slave is indeed making faces for Ben Saint today. I didn't expect to be so vented. Ben Saint's dog is a hundred times stronger than Lord Lordshead. And Ben Saint, even more powerful than Lord Lordshead. Tier Luo Lisheng looks arrogant, arrogant and conceited. Yes, yes, what the Lord said. You are the best, sir. Have you seen the expression of Lord Lordshead at the time? It's all distorted like that. It really opened my eyes to the minion. Huh, this stinky boy, dare to compare with Ben Sheng. It's still far behind. Tier Luo Lisheng is arrogant and indulgent, and the whole person has been arrogant to the extreme. My Lord, do you want to reward this kid? The celestial dragon's butler flattered, his face was so disgusting that even Tao Tu wanted to beat this guy. Reward. Of course it must be rewarded. This dog minion fights for the sage, can he convince the crowd if he doesn't reward it? Do you think it is? Advertisement. The minions on the side knelt on the ground quietly, and when Cha or Luo Lai Sheng glanced over, all nodded. At this moment, right in front of the minions, a dying pirate, whose facial features could not be seen clearly, was completely blocked by blood, and his body was dripping with blood, which was obviously seriously injured. Char Laolai glanced at the almost motionless minion on the ground and said, since he strove to face the saint, the saint rewarded him for being bitten to death by lion majesty, what do you think? Is this saint's reward good? No way. Yes, my lord is wise. The celestial dragon steward heard this and agreed without hesitation. What are you doing in a daze? Keeping this rubbish here is also a hindrance to Bensheng. Pull it out. It's annoying to save. Char Luo Lisheng looked cold and arrogant, and his expression changed extremely quickly. Good, good, good. The celestial dragon steward hurriedly ordered the slaves to drag the man out. Damn beast. The slave fought for his glory, but in the end he was treated like this. Our celestial dragon's a beast. Tao Tu couldn't hold back anymore, and the inner universe burst out. She used to just hear celestial. Dragons are arrogant and unreasonable, but what Tao Tu sees today is the bloodthirsty and brutality of celestial dragons. The world government protects such a bunch of garbage. It's really blind. Tao Tu was indignant, her powder fist clenched, and in three or two steps she rushed to Char Luo Lisheng with a punch. Damn chopsticks. Give me. Go to hell. With a punch, Saint Cha or Luolai flew out and fell to the ground with a bang. Everyone was taken aback. At this moment, Chin Luo looked at Tao Tu's expression and couldn't help but smile. Finally the brainwashing succeeded. Peach Rabbit, give him to me, I will torture him to death. Chin Luo spoke calmly, and soon the Cherolai Saint was locked into the abyss hell. The two went to five or six stores, and the things that celestial dragons did made Tao Tu furious. The celestial dragons were not spared and were all captured by Chin Luo. In the end, about 20 people were arrested, and these 20 people. It is a great gift from Shin Luo to this world government. Chapter 70. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Holy Land Mary Geois. Shin Luo arrested 20 celestial dragons in the Holy Land, and the highest authority of the world government still didn't know that today's nobles are suffering miserable luck. Peach Rabbit, do you recognize the true face of this world? Shin Luo was wearing a red and black robe, and a lonely and indifferent aura could not help but asked, facing the sky. Yeah, Tao Tu cried for a long time with red eye circles, but her ruddy pretty face is now slightly pale. Girls are emotional animals, which Chin Luo has to admit. Just because of the blood and cruelty of celestial dragons, Tao Tu became angry dozens of times. At first, Chin Luo taught celestial dragons. In the end, without Chin Luo's hands, Tao Tu couldn't see it and was aggrieved. The celestial dragons was beaten violently. Do you still want to be a marine? To protect the celestial dragons you call the world nobleman. Chin Luo continued to ask. He came here this time mainly to brainwash the rabbits. In order to brainwash Tao Tu, Chin Luo directly smashed 2000 points. If the brainwashing is unsuccessful, Chin Luo will definitely be hit to death. No, Tao Tu's face was stubborn, and there was a stubbornness in her eyes. Then what are you going to do? Chin Luo followed the temptation and began to arrange traps. Tao Tu has long been disappointed with celestial dragons, and disgusted to the extreme. She even didn't understand, how could there be such rubbish in this world? I want to be a pirate. Tao Tu decided to 520 and shouted loudly. What are you going to be? Chin Luo confirmed again. Could it be that this little girl has finally gotten around? I want to be a pirate. Go according to the justice in my heart. Decide your own actions. I don't want to work for naval headquarters. I will not work for the world government. Tao Tu seems to be taking an oath, shouting to the sky. Okay. Chin Luo smiled and finally brainwashed Tao Tu. From today, Tao Tu has completely become a member of the, Flowing Cloud, pirate group. It is also the first female pirate recruited by Chin Luo. Put it on. 
Qin Luo handed the red cloud and black robe to Tao Tu. Tao Tu is also unambiguous, since she has decided to join the Luyun pirates, then she has nowhere to retire. Advertisement. When the Celestial Dragons was beaten up, Peach Rabbit already knew it. Yourself and Naval Headquarters. With World Government. Already said goodbye. Faced with her, will be the unlimited pursuit of World Government. However, she is not afraid. Putting on the red cloud and black robe, Tao Tu showed an extremely cold beauty. The temperament of rejecting thousands of miles away made Chin Luo couldn't help but admire. Is this red cloud and black robe so powerful? Tao Tu suddenly changed, and was no longer the innocent girl at the beginning, but a thorough pirate. Go. Go and do something big with me. Big event. What is the big event? Tao Tu couldn't help asking as she put on her clothes, but did not change her original cuteness and simplicity. Destroy this holy land. The system removes the mysterious energy from me and Tao Tu, but I don't want to be seen my face. What can I do? Ding, host has 30 minutes left. If host wants to remove the mysterious energy, you can, and only cover your face, so that no one can recognize you. Just do it. Me and Tao Tu get it together. Please wait. Ding, the removal is complete. Later, Chin Luo discovered that the mysterious energy in his body disappeared except for the face. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. And the same is true of Tao Tu. Suddenly, the breath of Chin Luo and Tao Tu was detected by five elders, the highest authority of the world government. The highest level of the world government. In a magnificent office, five old men were sitting around a round table, one of them with a square face was suddenly surprised, someone has come in. I also sense that in the place where celestial dragons lives, and there are still two people. When did these two people come in? Why didn't the five of us find out? An old man with all white beards and two straight down beards said in surprise. All five of them have powerful observation hockey. Who can escape? Their search. What do these two people want to do? Look at the clothes. It should be some kind of organization. A sword bearer guest, wiping the sword. Whatever the reason, as long as you step into the holy land, you will kill them all. A bald-headed murderous intent, without evading. Advertisement. That's it. Who will be sent? These five people are the highest rights holders of the world government, five elders. And when the five people were discussing, Chin Luo had already used repulsive force and flew to a position three kilometers above the holy place Mary Geois. What are you going to do? Tao Tu was puzzled. She didn't know anything yet, so she was pulled up by Chin Luo. Right below is the world government. Come to such a high place. Is it to declare war on the world? Destroy the holy land. Chin Luo spoke calmly, then stretched out his hands, facing the sky. Gravity. Planetary devastation. Suddenly, an immense gravitational force was released from Shin Luo's body, standing in the void, the whole body exuding golden brilliance, bright and gorgeous, looking from a distance, it is like a small sun hanging in the sky, but under this beauty, but a terrifying murderous intent is brewing. Boom. Suddenly, within five kilometers of the world government, it was suddenly enveloped by a huge force. Shin Luo's surroundings suddenly turned to pitch black, and her gravitational force soared. Click. Click. The earth tore apart under this unmatched gravitational force, a series of terrifying and hideous cracks appeared, and the surrounding mountains also collapsed. The entire mountain range, under this gravitational force, is constantly breaking and turning into countless rocks, floating in the air, condensed under Chin Luo's hands. Wow. The earth shattered, the entire mountain range collapsed, turned into rocks, and flew to the sky. The sky is falling apart, the sea is screaming. Red Earth, New World, Shambord Islands, Naval Headquarters. All shake violently. Countless huge stones rushed towards Chin Luo frantically from within a radius of five kilometers. The world is turbulent, the sea is raging, and the sky is clear, and the clouds are densely covered in an instant, and thunder thunders across the void. Like the end of the world. Above the sea, the blue waves are surging into the sky, and countless tons of seawater are sucked into the sky by Chin Luo's gravity. The land is cracked. Advertisement. New World. Roger Pirates. At the moment Chin Luo performed planetary devastation, he felt the great changes in the sea, and his eyes looked at world government Mary Geois, full of solemnity. Captain. What's the matter? The red-haired Shanks took off his hat, wondering. World government. Roger only said half a sentence before stopping, and then he saw countless sea tornadoes sweeping towards them. New World. Whitebeard Pirates. Father. What's wrong? There. A shock has happened. Simultaneously. Shambord Islands. Gangu Kong was discussing with all the lieutenant generals to capture Chin Luo. Suddenly the whole room shook violently, and the cups on the table shattered without warning. What's going on? Steel Bone Hollow brows solemnly, he had a foreboding that it was the Holy Land Mary Geois that had changed. Marshal, it's a holy place. Garp also has keen perception and hurriedly said. Holy Land. What happened to the Holy Land? The remaining lieutenant general couldn't perceive what was going on. 
The earth is turbulent, and the wind screams. World government. Mary Geois, above the holy land, Chin Luo alone, standing at an altitude of 3,000 meters, countless huge boulders leapt forward, condensed under his hands. Blocks of boulders, squeezed together tightly due to gravity, shattered the original texture, and reunited into a earth-shattering boulder. Dash 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 dash. In the revised version, I didn't feel that the picture was portrayed yesterday, but the author tried his best. The animation is far more straightforward than the novel to reflect the spectacular scene cac. Chapter 71. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. From a distance, a huge rock is condensed above the world government Mary Geois. Thunder and lightning. Strong wind and showers. Like a doomsday natural disaster. Chin Luo raised his hand with indifferent eyes. Tao Tu looked at the boulder, pale in shock. The shockingly huge sphere was condensed by Chin Luo, and as the sphere grew, it did not sink the slightest downward. With just one person, you can control such a horrifying boulder sphere that is thousands of meters long and wide. How terrible is the man in front of him? Chin, is this your full power? Tao Tu was determined to storm the sea, but she still couldn't help asking. Full force. This is just an appetizer. Not worth mentioning. Chin Luo smiled lightly, and then slammed into the ground. Gravity. Thousand times. Chin Luo raised his fingers slightly, and vomited lightly, as if he had issued a command. The kilometer giant ball that was three kilometers above the holy land was just under the sound of Chin Luo. Boom down at full speed. Gravity blessing. This huge sphere made it fall like crazy. It's the same as the meteorite. Furious and domineering. Shocking fireworks were even lit up all around. Seen from the front, the appearance of this thousand meter long meteorite is impressively a red cloud symbol, and the burning flames shine the red cloud extremely brightly, as if it was stained with blood. It's almost the same as the red cloud logo. Pirates from all over the world focus their eyes on the broadcast television. Advertisement. In the picture, among the huge clouds, lightning and thunder, violent wind and anger, in front of these natural disasters, the dazzling red cloud meteorite, under the eyes of everyone, rushed towards the world government, anger. This is a provocation. This is a challenge. This is crushing. In the Shambord Islands, all the pirates and residents on the island stopped their work and looked at the bright flames in the sky in shock. The friction of the air makes the meteorite become extremely red, and under the dark sky, it is brilliant and eye-catching. That, what is that, meteorite? How could there be such a big meteorite? Could it be a meteorite from the sky? Look at the screen. There is a figure on the boulder. Hearing that, everyone's eyes converged on the huge screen, and the crowd stood quietly, staring at the screen dumbfounded. The screen expands step by step, and the red meteorite is getting more and more under people's eyes. Finally, people see two figures standing in the void above the boulder. I don't know what high tech it is, and the pictures captured are very clear, even if it is enlarged thousands of times, it is still clear. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Two figures appeared on tens of thousands of screens. A slender figure, flying hair, red clouds and black robe grinning in the wind. The other person, with a low figure and long hair, is also wearing a red cloud and black robe. The only thing that is not clear is that face. Regardless of magnification a thousand times. Magnify ten thousand times. Still can't capture the face. Pirates and people from all over the world can feel the indifference and indifferent breath in the man from the screen. In the picture, the two of them are standing in the void, and lightning is slamming down, and the two of them are standing still in the thunder and lightning. This. Is this still a human? Advertisement. What kind of evildoer is this? How come there are people? And look at the logo on the clothes. It's exactly the same as the appearance of this boulder. Could it be that he got the shocking meteorite? This meteorite is a thousand meters long and wide. Who can move it? This person is not afraid of thunder and lightning. He is no longer a person. He should be called a god. God. In addition. New World. Whitebeard Pirates. Roger Pirates. Big Mom Pirates. Kaido Pirates. Because of this natural disaster, they were madly resisting the sea. The huge sea tornado rolled the sea up to a full 300 meters and swallowed it toward the pirate ship. Naval Headquarters. Malin Vander. Gang Bone Kong. Garp and other strong men, after seeing this picture, couldn't help being frightened, and those lieutenants who had never seen the world were even more terrified and frightened. Unbelievable. In naval headquarters, Akainu will cast Meteor Volcano. But Akainu's Meteor Volcano is nothing compared to the flaming meteorite that is a thousand meters long and wide in front of you. Yuan. Marshal, what is this? The ghost spider was dumbfounded and swallowed in panic. How do I know? Damn it. What the hell is going on? How can such a huge stone appear above the holy ground? And it is human work. Who has this ability? Openly challenge the world's highest authority, five elders. Five elders. They are the world's highest peak powers. Do they just watch the destruction of the holy land? Then the world perishes. 
What a terrifying power. Is this still human work? That person. Who is it? Everyone in naval headquarters gathered their eyes on the screen, shocked. In the holy land, all the celestial dragons' families walked out, and after seeing the boulder above their heads, they were all dumbfounded. The whole holy place was in a mess, and even some of the faint-hearted were scared to pee their pants. Dot dot dot. Advertisement. Slave. Housekeeper. Servant. Celestial dragons. All fled madly. And five elders in the most luxurious hall was equally shocked. This look hasn't appeared in hundreds of years. Damn it. What is this? It was those two people who did it. The moment they were discovered again. This person has already flown into the sky. Such a huge meteorite has been condensed. What to do? Are you sure to resist it? Difficult. Unless. Die once. Die once. As long as it can be stopped. Let alone die once. Even if it is ten thousand times. It will be no hesitate. Because. We are immortal. Protect celestial dragons. They can't make any mistakes. The five people are in one heart, and in an instant, they have already flown out of the holy land. Five people stand in the void, with white hair flying. The wind howls. On their calm faces, there was a rare panic. That is the fear of death. Even if they are immortal, the pain is real. Do it. The five people spoke at the same time, and immediately, the five dazzling sky-shaking powers exploded from the arms, condensed into a thick beam of light, and blasted toward the Qingtian meteorite. Holy Land Mary Geois, three kilometers in the sky. Qin Luo was suspended in the air, his hair was flying, his expression was cold, thunder and lightning flashed behind him, and the wind kept going. At this moment, he faces the world. Calmly said. My. Celebrity Yun. Today. Destroy the Holy Land. Chapter 72. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. What makes them crazy? Flowing clouds will destroy the Holy Land. This is simply the ultimate dream of all pirates. They used to be the One Piece, and being One Piece is only the first step. Their ultimate goal is to subvert the world government. People who have never appeared before are standing in the most eye-catching place in the world today. Declare the world. He wants to destroy the Holy Land. Oh oh oh. Flowing clouds. Lu Yun. I became your loyal fan. God. Is there a pirate group? Does the pirate group still need people? I want to go in. FKU. Just like you, can still enter the pirate group of God. Even Whitebeard is not necessarily qualified. FK. This is simply non-human. I dare to destroy the holy land in front of five elders. I am really not afraid of death. Trash. What do you know? Since Lu Yun God dares to challenge. You must have confidence. Destroy this holy land. What a terrifying power. This is beyond the limit. Hey. Destroy the world government. Very good. The government is destroyed. The world is dominated by pirates. Think too much. The world is gone. God will rule the world. Advertisement. As the world perishing or the pirate rebirth. This is an opportunity. All the pirates on the Shambord Islands were excited and bloody, what they did not dare to think of. Facing five elders, it has never appeared before in this history. This is a precedent. Lu Yun is the originator of pioneers. Naval headquarters. Looking at the indifferent and arrogant figure, Gengu Kong's face was pale, the object of his protection, world government. It was so provoked by this Lu Yun. And in front of the whole world. Destroy the holy land. This is literally hitting Marine in the face. Hit world government in the face. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Damn. Who the hell is this man? The steel skeleton stared at the holy ground in shock and shock, the huge red meteorite. Such a huge meteorite is extremely dignified, and looking at the people under the holy ground, it looks like an ant, extremely small. The celestial dragons in the holy land looked up at the sky completely obscured by the meteorite. This meteorite was as vast as the sun and glowing hot. The power is amazing. Looking at it, the huge boulder can't be seen at all, and the top of the head is completely covered by the meteorite. Sun. Sky. Everything. They were all resisted by the shockingly large area of meteorites. This thousand meter meteorite falls, I am afraid there will be no more world government. The heavy depression burst out violently, and deep despair rose in their eyes. Advertisement. Now they know how small they are. In the face of natural disasters, vulnerable. In the holy land, the violent wind screamed, the earth shook, and fell with the meteorite. The earth cracked open, and huge cracks appeared quickly, which were torn apart by the huge crushing force of the meteorite. All celestial dragons were terrified and knelt on the ground shivering. Some are even timid, already scared to pee their pants. Boom. The meteorite oscillated violently. World government. It was under this invisible crushing momentum that it collapsed. World government, under the eyes of the public, was completely crushed and crushed. Puff. 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 The celestial dragons in the holy land were slapped to the ground by the huge crushing momentum, and there was no resistance. 
The impact force rushed into their bodies domineeringly, as if being slapped by someone. All celestial dragons are without exception, all seven orifices are bleeding and hideous. Damn it! Protect celestial dragons! One of the five elders standing in the void, full of anger, shouted at the other four. I go. Advertisement. A bald head retracted his hands, and then his figure disappeared. In an instant, all the celestial dragons in the holy land that had been messed up all gathered in a wide area below the holy land. After celestial dragons saw this person, suddenly shouted angrily, asshole. Coming now. Do you know this saint almost died? Damn it. What do you five do for food? Celestial dragons are dead. Don't you guys want to live? To die, everyone die together. All celestial dragons are crazy. There is no way. The meteorite that covered the sky and the sun made it hard for them to breathe. Just the momentum. It almost killed them, and it really fell down, and it was not completely dead. Being so insulted, the bald old man did not get angry, but said with a plain face, Don't worry, I won't let you die. You are honorable celestial dragons. It's just that there is a bit of indifference in this tone. It is not the bald old man who wants to save them, but is forced to save. Then what are you doing in a daze? My people are dead. You have to pay half of the responsibility. Yes. Don't even want to live if you die. All celestial dragons have red eyes, and they have obviously been forced to the point of being exhausted. The bald old man was speechless, and then raised his hands, and a terrifying energy wave erupted from his palm. In the end, this energy directly enveloped all celestial dragons, and everything outside seemed to be completely isolated. Huh. This old man has some ability. I can't feel the slightest depression. Yes. Fortunately, this bald head knows to save people, and the other four damn old men, if the saint does not die, they must pay the price. In his heart, Celestial Dragons is the most noble, even the most powerful person in the world, five elders, and must listen to their orders. Keep them safe. At present, the selfish Celestial Dragons only wants five old men to protect them, one is not enough. Terror. The steel bone hollow fingers trembled, even if he faced such a huge, majestic meteorite, a wave of despair could not help but rise in his heart. Being hit by this meteorite, even if you survive the catastrophe, I am afraid you will have to pay a heavy price. Chapter 73 Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. There was a roar from the sky, and one of the five elders, the old man with the sword, slashed out. The huge ring-shaped golden light is extremely bright, like a dazzling star, and the sword above it roars, fierce and fierce, like a dragon, smashing towards the meteorite weighing tens of millions of caddies in the sky. The fierce sword energy cut the stone madly, and under the collision, a huge meteorite was cut down, and this huge meteorite only accounted for 1% of the entire meteorite. Damn it. So genieing. Completely unable to chop. The old man with the sword was shocked, and the other huge stones, he cut down, not to mention cutting the mountain and cutting the sea, it is almost the same, but the meteorite in front of it is so genieing. He cut it down, just like scratching it. Fear. Shake. Shake. My Luyum. Will subvert the world. Chin Luo stood on the summit, thunder and lightning flashed in the sky, like the end of the world, the peach rabbit beside him silently looked at the holy place Mary Geois. Go and die. Tianlongren, you are an insult to this world if you live in this world. For Chin Luo's cruelty, Tao Tu didn't have a trace of disgust. On the contrary, she felt very relieved. It was a depressed relief for a long time. She has witnessed the sinister faces of those Tianlong people. If a Tianlong people are like this, she can still insist on the justice in her heart, but she has witnessed that all the Tianlong people are corrupt and eroded to the extreme. Tao Tu has been desperate for the world's noble Tianlong people. All over the world, whether it is pirate or marine, all staring at the screen with breathlessness. Lu Yun. It's terrible. The momentum is amazing. My flow is going to overthrow the world. Okay. Hockey. He's so handsome. My old lady is going to Lu Yun to be a pirate. People all over the world were stunned by Chin Luo's compelling words. The pirate was full of enthusiasm. Even the ups and downs of the heart began to fight again. Advertisement. And marine, under these domineering and arrogant words, Fado, panic. As the meteorite got lower and lower, everyone's breathing became heavier. Looking at the vast meteorite in horror. Knock. Fist. Four of the five elders all performed their own moves and wanted to smash the meteorite into pieces. However, following their moves, they discovered that the degree of genieing of this meteorite was far more terrifying than they thought. No. I can't stop it at all. Four of the five elders were tired with all their moves, but they suddenly discovered that the meteorite hadn't been cut off much at all. Even as Chin Luo's gravitational force increased, more boulders fell on the meteorite and became a part of it. Falling from a distance of 3,000 meters, it was originally only a kilometer, but the ground has doubled. Extending to a length and width of 2 kilometers. Will this day. Shade. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. This place. Cover. Go to hell.
Chin Luo opened the corner of his mouth lightly and muttered to himself. Naval headquarters, Marshal Gangukong and the others, all closed their mouths and stared at the screen in shock. As the huge meteorite fell, a touch of despair rose in their hearts. Even some Marine Lieutenant Generals had already panicked. The soldiers of Naval Headquarters are even more messy. All soldiers are like crazy. As the meteorite got closer, the Earth was crushed into a huge ellipse by this invisible aura, and the Red Earth continent cracked dozens of cracks, horrifying. All of this is like a disaster of the last days. Advertisement. No. This way the dragon people can't survive at all. The square-faced old man in Five Elders looked horrified. If all the dragon people died, then they would definitely die, and could not be resurrected at all. In an instant, the four old men looked at each other. Eye contact. That's the only way to see it. The old man has not died for 800 years. Unexpectedly, Jinri was killed by this Luyun once, but as long as I can be resurrected, Luyun will cost you thousands of times. Stop talking nonsense. Let's get started. I'm coming. The four old men said, and then gave up resisting the shocking meteorite, but a flash appeared on the ground. Why are you down? The bald old man looked solemnly. We can't resist, we can only delay, and you can't resist this power. Therefore, we can only desperately transfer all the Tianlong people out, the space transfer, only the five of us can work together to complete. Then what shall we do? The bald old man asked. Death. The man with the sword said indifferently, with determination in his eyes. Do you really want to die once? Ha ha. Forget it, you can live anyway. The bald old man couldn't help laughing when he heard the words, as if death was not terrible at all. Death, for them has been a word they haven't heard for a long time. Even, for 800 years, they have never died, they have lived to this day. Get ready. Five elders agreed. Immediately, the five people stood in five positions, surrounded all the Tianlong people, and gently lifted their fingers, and the five color beams of light suddenly emerged from the five old men. Advertisement. The energy of that beam of light is extremely mysterious. The Tianlongren who were illuminated did not feel anything. The meteorite blasted down. Escape. At this critical moment, the five elders roared at the same time. In an instant, the light was shining to the extreme, and a strange wave spread, and then all the Tianlong people disappeared. In the same place, only five old men remained, with complex expressions. Their eyes were full of horror, and I was full of anticipation. Lived for 800 years, never died, this is the first time. Five elders are also people. They are also afraid of death. Although it is an immortal body, the pain is real. Bring it on. The five old men looked at the meteorite above the sky resolutely, feeling indescribable. Boom. The meteorite hit, and the vast power blasted all over the Red Earth continent. The tall buildings of the world government had already turned into flying ash under the power of this stalwart. In an instant, the land of the Red Earth continent was instantly shattered into debris. The Earth was torn apart by this shocking force, hundreds of meters long cracks emerged, and the Red Earth continent, also under this terrifying force, was fragile, shattering the boulder to pieces, and the whole meteorite was directly embedded. Entered the Red Earth Continent. The wind roared and the sea water evaporated tens of millions of tons. In the waters close to the Red Earth Continent, a large number of sea kings died and floated up. The scene was extremely exciting. And five elders, under this domineering energy, all turned into fly ash. Die thoroughly. Chapter 74. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The monstrous explosion sounded earth-shattering. The unmatched meteorite fell from an altitude of 3,000 meters, and under the blessing of repulsion, it is definitely not weaker than the powerful force of foreign meteorites. All rolled to the Red Earth continent. The Holy Land Mary Geois has been completely destroyed and devastated, and even the whole Holy Land has become completely unrecognizable and shattered into dust. Except for celestial dragons, everyone is buried here. Even the most powerful man in the world, Five Elders, is no exception. Under this devastating, majestic force, no one can resist. Unless it's a god, the Logia Devil Fruit can be transformed into a photon fluid, so there may be a chance to escape. Because the speed of the meteorite has broken through the sky, comparable to the speed of light. Even for Logia Fluid people, it is not easy to escape. Boom. The shock wave blasted from the Red Soil Continent, and the sea was directly raised several kilometers. This huge rock directly stirred the sea, and the waves were violent. The violent explosion sounded through the sky. Mary Geois, the noble world holy land, no longer exists. Some are just the meteorite summoned by Chin Luo. The Red Earth Continent was smashed and collapsed, and the entire 400 meteorite was embedded in it. From a distance, the Red Cloud logo is gorgeous and eye-catching. Hum. At this time, people all over the world were watching attentively, and suddenly the picture was blurred, and then it was pitch black. Naval Headquarters. The picture on the screen disappeared, Gang Bone Kong's face was green, his fists were tightly clenched, and his whole body was involuntarily trembling. 
Advertisement. That is the fear from the heart, the fear of meteorites. He has lived for so many years and has never seen such a terrible meteorite. The destructive power is even more shocking. As the screen disappeared, all the members of the office stood there dumbfounded. Still haven't escaped from the unforgettable scene just now. After half a minute of silence, the deadlock was finally broken. How to do? The steel bone empty spirit seemed to be taken away, and the whole person said in a decadent way. How to do? This is the doubt in everyone's mind, not just a hollow doubt. The world government was destroyed and the holy land Mary Geois was destroyed. In their opinion, celestial dragons must have been smashed to death, but five elders did not know whether they lived or died. Allegiance to the naval headquarters of the world government, for a time fell into a state of extreme confusion and confusion. Is it still upholding justice and suppressing the evil forces, or is it being suppressed by the evil forces? This is impossible to judge. Their naval headquarters, they were strong and strong a moment ago. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Five elders, the highest authority in the world government, controls all power. Below, there is the Marshal of Steel Bone Empty, commanding the three armies. There are Garp, Zephyr, Sengoku, Pelusolino, Sakazuki, and other strong players under the steel. There are even more than a dozen marine lieutenants below. In this world, it can completely sweep any force. But now, five elders do not know the life or death, the highest power and the strongest, both suffered the doomsday natural disaster. What's more, Shin Luo also caught Sengoku, Zephyr, Pelusolino, Sakazuki and other strong players. Advertisement. This almost kills naval headquarters. The world is invincible one moment, and the next one is afraid of the quartet. New World has Whitebeard, Roger, Shaki staring at him, and in addition, there is Chin Luo who is even more terrifying than the Marshal. In addition to them, on top of this, there is an otherworldly existence. Flowing Clouds. This name is almost engraved in everyone's mind, and it will never be forgotten in this lifetime. There are ferocious wolves before, and fierce tigers behind. Now naval headquarters is completely in a precarious position. If five elders really die, then their naval headquarters can't last long. And this world is bound to be led by pirates. What to do? Gangu Kong asked again, but no one answered yet. It's not that I don't want to answer, but I don't know how to answer. Facing the silence of everyone, Gangu Kong fell into contemplation again. All Marines, go to the Holy Land Mary Geois and search for Lord Five Elders. If you find it, five billion bounty, Gangu Kong suddenly said, and the whole person forcibly raised his spirit. Marshal, did you say that Five Elders is still alive? Garp's eyes were gloomy. The scale of the explosion just now was absolutely unprecedented. It was simply impossible for humans to resist. If Five Elders were still alive, this would definitely be news that shocked the world. In the face of such supernatural power, being able to survive, it shows that the strength of Five Elders has reached the point of God. If Five Elders is alive, it will be a great opportunity. If Five Elders is dead, Naval Headquarters has no hope at all. Regardless of life or death. Life to see people. Death to see corpses. All Naval Headquarters soldiers. Go to the World Holy Land Mary Geois. Search for the whereabouts of Five Elders. Gangu Kong gave an order with a gloomy face. In such a situation, still thinking of a silver lining. As expected to be the Marshal Gang Bone Kong. Quite a Marshal style. Yes. Advertisement. Faced with the order, everyone in the office spoke in unison, and the originally worn out fighting spirit surged up again. At this moment, the earth trembled violently, and the invisible shock wave swept across Malin Vatican directly. The wind screamed, the sand danced wildly, and the land was instantly lifted. All the glass was shattered by the shock wave, even the marine soldiers. It was the shocked Chichao bleeding. Lieutenant General Marine, Admiral, felt that his eardrums were about to explode, and he used his own strength to resist. This is just the aftermath, causing such terrible damage, which shows what the Holy Land Mary Geois will be like. After the aftermath, Gangu Kong looked in the direction of the Holy Land Mary Geois again, his whole person was extremely solemn. All parts of the world are in a state of madness. The meteorite fell and completely crushed the Holy Land. They thought that five elders must have died in this natural disaster. It's gone. It's really gone. Lu Yun, the power of one person, destroyed the Holy Land Mary Geois. This thing was so incredible that they thought they had hallucinations. Five elders may not survive this fierce power. Ha ha ha. Five elders is dead. The world will be our pirate's world. Oh oh oh. Kill marine. Pirates dominate. From then on. This is the era of the big pirates. I want to join the floating cloud pirates. Dominate this world. I'm a member of Luyum. Get out of here. For a while, a huge quarrel broke out in the Shambord Islands, mixed with shock, exclamation, and excitement. Hot blood. The holy land is gone. The government does not exist. Only naval headquarters. What can I do? Recommend new and cool books to friends.
Old author. Quality assurance. One Piece God level house of everything, the rise of the metropolis, a must see for the classics. Chapter 75. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It feels like a tiger is dead and a wolf dominates. Naval headquarters, New World, Chambord Islands, and other places were all affected by shock waves, huge waves and disasters. The world has fallen into extreme madness. Marine was miserable for a while and panicked to the extreme. Chin Luo stood in the void, standing side by side with Taotu. Chin, are all dead. I don't know why, Taotu only called a surname, which is quite compelling. Did you die? Chin Luo murmured. He didn't know the situation below, and he didn't have observation hockey himself. Apart from being able to detect everything in the sea, he was just like a blind man on land, unconscious. Shin Luo originally wanted to use air fluctuations to perceive everything around him, but the fluctuations caused by meteorites were too strong and completely covered up. Therefore, this method did not work this time. If you notice it, it's just an extremely small spatial fluctuation, just like a spatial shift. Seeing that Shin Luo was not sure, Taotu hesitated again. Under such a terrifying impact, what kind of terrifying ability is there if you can survive? Are they all dead? Taotu's face was pale, and her whole person was a lot weaker. Both. Chin Luo sensed a sensitive word, yes, if they were all dead, even those slaves, slaves, butlers, dragons, and five elders would all be ruined here. Advertisement. Both the good and the bad are dead, and Chin Luo is different from those cruel and bloodthirsty celestials. This is completely contrary to Taotu's belief in justice. This should be the reason why Taotu is confused. Don't worry, I will let them come to life in the future, only to die temporarily, because in order to kill the dragon people, it has to be so. Shin Luo can't give five elders time to react, otherwise there won't be any moths. I would rather kill by mistake than let it go. But Shin Luo has a way to bring those dead slaves back to life again. The opportunity to resurrect them is the revolving heaven technique. Is that so? Are you lying to me? How do you resurrect the dead? Taotu's pretty face was pale, there was an indescribable pain and sadness. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Do you think I'm lying to you? Shin Luo's eyes were firm. After Taotu saw it, she fell into deep thought. Yes, the man in front of him can no longer be described by humans. This man is a god, able to go to heaven and earth, call the wind and call the rain, and go deep into the ocean that those with fruit power are afraid of. This is already beyond the scope of human beings. Yeah, rarely, Taotu wiped away her tears and believed Shin Luo. Shin, are the Tianlongren and five elders dead? Taotu asked again. I don't know, I always feel that things are a bit weird. It's not what I thought. Moreover, there was a spatial fluctuation just now. At the moment when the meteorite fell, it was teleported out. If it wasn't five elders, it was the celestials, or they weren't dead. Those who die are only slaves and slaves. Chin Luo said calmly. All dead Chin Luo is not afraid. He believes that they will be rescued in the future. As long as they can kill five elders and the Tianlongren, it is a blessing thing. Advertisement. At the same time, Chin Luo felt that killing five elders in this way would be too cheap for them. They should be bullied by these five old immortals before they die. For some reason, Chin Luo hopes that five elders will not die like this. He came to the Holy Land. The first is to frighten the world, to strike out the title of Luyun, to shock the world, no one dared to move the Fishman Island. Second. He wants to test the strength of five elders in order to make a perfect solution. Five elders wanted to kill Chin Luo. It was impossible. Chin Luo killed five elders. It was very simple. However, Chin Luo worried about one thing most. Before crossing, Chin Luo was a veteran pirate fan. He had inquired many versions before, and wanted to know what fruits five elders ate, and even what was the blank 100 years of 800 years ago, but I have checked it for a long time. There is no official reply, but under the search, the most popular thing is that five elders ate the largest devil fruit on the devil fruit tree, and this devil fruit, named the fruit of life, can be immortal after eating. In addition, the body has undergone various changes, and the strength is a mess. Even if they die, they can be resurrected through the fruit ability. Chin Luo's planetary devastation can definitely kill five of them. If these five old men reappear, then they are definitely the fruit of life to eat. If they die, it can only be blamed on five elders' lack of strength. Let's go. Chin Luo's eyes were plain, no matter whether five elders was dead or not, for him, there was no loss. Now that the government is gone and the holy land does not exist, they are still alive, and they are also abused by Chin Luo. The only tricky thing is that five elders is not dead. In the future, Chin Luo plans to find a way to target it, or to take the fruits of life from the five old men. Suck it out and give it to your wives. This method can completely kill five people. As long as there are enough points to redeem, it is not a problem, so at the moment, points are still important. In this way, 
the wives can live forever, while the five old men without the fruits of life will face death. This is also a question that Shin Luo is thinking about. He dominates the world. It is only a matter of time. He can survive, but the Empress Hancock, Taotu, Nico Robin and others will die with age. This is not what Shin Luo wants. Dot dot dot. Advertisement. Shin Luo's face was as plain as water, pulling the peach rabbits, disappearing into the sky together, and then rushing towards the sea, directly into the deep sea, towards the Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace, there is no news about the outside world at this moment. They are all panicking about the fluctuation of the earth. The fluctuation of the meteorite is transmitted below 10,000 meters, and the strength is weakened a lot. Therefore, it is only an earthquake, and there are no casualties. Happening. King, what happened? A minister stood on the side, surprised. I don't know, it came from above, and I am not sure. It's terrible. Since the establishment of Dragon Palace City, there has not been such a shock. It's nothing, this kind of fluctuation can't kill people. To calm the people, don't let them panic. There should be something wrong with the above. News will come out soon. Wait. In the entire Dragon Palace City, everyone was not clear about the outside world, and it was so close to the extreme. This was also because they were 10,000 meters deep in the sea. There were very few pirates who could come here, so the news inevitably slowed down a lot. They didn't know that this shock was created by their patron saint, Luyun, alone. Recommend new books from friends, so cool. Journey to the West. The strongest emperor, the god-level pirate of ultra-theological seminary, author, lieutenant touching the stem. Just look at the name and you know it is an old driver. Xiao.